This week on the Kokomo Press Podcast, we have not one, but two returning special guests for you. We have Maddie Kroll, who is the lead singer and guitarist for Dwarf Among Midgets, the drummer for Grey Garden, and the director of Dedicini Alfredo through Outhouse Productions. And we also have stand-up comedian extraordinaire and actor and just all-around great guy, Sean Del Ripple, a.k.a. Sean D. is Funny on YouTube, Instagram, and all of social media. We had a great time, Courtney and I, talking to these very special guests today about a plethora of different ideas, including AI and how it affects, you know, artistic and creative abilities and how it's kind of cannibalizing his health. We talked a little bit about that submarine that got lost, and Sean let us in on how he's going to be performing at Helium Comedy Club in Indianapolis on July 18th at 7 p.m. for Indies Funniest. You've got to check him out. Tickets are half off if you mention his name, if he doesn't have any free tickets left. And Matty Kroll has a brand new music video. He's also going to be performing at Harvest Fest where his band is going to be releasing its next album. And Exclusive here, you're going to hear about some of the comics performing at Harvest Fest. You seriously do not want to miss this very special episode of Kokomo Press Podcast, baby. Woo! This video contains adult content not suitable for children. What's up? It's the Kokomo Press Podcast. I'm Jordan Granger. This is the best podcast this side of the Wildcat Creek, so take with that as you will. And today I have my co-host. She's she's pretty great. Uh, her pretty name great. is Courtney Richardson. Hey, Courtney. Hi. How you doing? I'm great. How, How you are been? you? How you been? I've been good. You haven't been on the show in a while. Nah. What have you been doing with your sleeping. time? Camping? I did go camping. Did you go glamping or camping? It was camping. All right. I didn't even know what glamping was until recently. You have a camper. Yeah, I, I fucking who knows. You love I don't camping. do that. You I do it. I, I mean, obviously, you I are, love fishing. I'm a huge <laughs> fisherman. Well, we actually have You're two special fisherman. guests today, so we're gonna get a. We got two special guests today. Uh, both returning people to the podcast. I got Matty Kroll. That's me. And Sean Dalrymple. Hey guys, Woo! Sean D is funny online. Yeah, check out Sean D. Check out Our House Records. As you can see by Matty Kroll, we have the most recent Outhouse uh, Productions. You know we're actually production. tied for the most guests on this podcast. Yeah. So this is oh, what, this is are? the greatest oh, part. You guys sense. get to you guys get to stay toe and toe here. Nice. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing my cool fisherman that, outfit so because you guys said I should. Going fishing late, late, later, not actually fishing because I don't believe in hurting fish. We talked about this before. <laughs> you know, fishing for white women, I get it. Yeah, white I, women. I gotta <laughs> say, it looks more like you're going on tour with my morning jacket. I'm gonna do it. This is actually my <laughs> that, morning jacket. This is morning jacket. So, <laughs> what if I? The whole podcast. Like okay, this. now you look like a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> no, <laughs> you need a face tattoo. I look like my son. I look like my son on yes. SoundCloud rappers. No, just a just a fishing hook. Just a fishing hook. Yes. Yes. Hey, yo. Yes. Hey, yo. You need to get a face tattoo of a fishing hook, like under your eye, yeah. <laughs> like, like in the teardrop position. But it's a fishing hook. It's like I no, I, I, I cry for the fish. <laughs> my my album is off the hook. I'm a fish bro. simp. <laughs> my album's off the hook. Yeah. Yes. Your yeah. all your entire album is about. Fish rights. Yeah, fish fish rights. Fish lives matter. It's mm -hmm. f fish simp. That's the name FLM. Of you gotta fish have a matter. song about scaling the bitches. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Scaling <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, There's so many good things. We're cushion you know? now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How come My there are no fishermen rappers? Yeah, there needs to be more fishermen rappers. I agree. Like, what? There's a country singers. In the music video, you can, you know, that's that writes itself. You're just yeah. out there fishing, and you're just like making puns about fish. Well, that's Lil's like, not Lil Nas X. That's the entire concept of country music. Yeah, well, Lil, Lil Nas X oh, yeah. kind of was playing Red Dead and decided, hell, I'm gonna write a song about riding a horse. So maybe, you know, I should be focused on the fishing part of Red Dead. Mm -hmm. And then I'm That's like, true. Oh, song about... Hip hop and country are kind of merging. Like, yeah. on one side, you got Lil Nas X, you know, doing that kind of stuff. And then you've got fucking Jelly Roll on the other side of it. Like, yeah, Jelly Roll's the best, man. <laughs> Everybody knows how much I love Jelly Roll. <laughs> If you saw the podcast last week, oh, yeah. I, I did not. I love, not your, I, I love your joke, though. You're not a fan of Jelly Roll, huh? No, it's not that I don't like Jelly Roll. It's I just hate, that he's not talented. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just I hate Jelly Roll. <laughs> Look, I my, will say that my I fiance is a huge Jelly Roll fan. Oh yeah, and I fucking hate him. And His I'm just like, oh not... yeah, it's it's uh, okay. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> They're just tell her, tell her, tell, this is what this is my joke to her. Yeah. Tell her this: say uh, Jelly Roll fans are just juggalos who are too poor to afford the makeup. That's, Jeez, that's yes. my joke. That's my joke about it. Yes, I almost completely stole your joke <laughs> I, I did watch it. the podcast i posted it on a on a, one of the a jelly roll like 
fan site or whatever. They were so mad, dude. <laughs> they were pissed off at me. Like, well, that's why you're not. They went through like my Facebook and found videos of me singing. They're like, well, look at you here. Because I, I also made a joke about like, oh, so I'm so happy. Somebody came for you for saying <laughs> that. Funny. Yeah. I was like, hey, I'm a lot of people. Well, I was they like, came and attacked you well, I me. went to their, to their forum and talked shit. It was kind of on me. <laughs> But I was just like, I, the first thing that I wrote before I even wrote the, the joke about Juggalos was that, like, oh, I'm so I'm so proud that, you know, T-Pain could walk so that uh, a Jelly Roll could fly with all this autotune, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, something like that, along the lines of, like, making fun of the fact that he's trying to be the new T-Pain, because it's all autotune. He has a, uh, uh, I don't know why we're getting into this, but yeah, we'll talk about it. Uh, he has a new uh, um, documentary on Hulu, and that's, I watched a, a, a breakdown of it, and it's just, have you seen it? Did no. you get to watch it? No. I'm, I can't, I hope she watches this episode, and she's like, oh, now we gotta watch it together. No. Now you gotta watch it. Jordan, what did you do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got Maddie Kroll and Sean D in the house. Uh, Maddie Kroll, you've known him from the podcast, like, like we talked about it many times, but he's also got a new music video out called Dedicini Alfredo, named after the the movie we did, uh, the movie we did together. But uh, I make special appearance, Cordy makes special appearance. So you want to tell us a little bit about that, Maddie? Well, first, it's, it's not just my music; it's my band, Dwarf, nah. Dwarf Among Midgets. Who? I'm just kidding. I'm one of three. One of three. Although I am probably the focus because yeah. you know, lead singer. No, we just talked about this before the podcast. Ninety percent of the work. Know, yeah. that's, that's why I know I made the joke, and I'm like, "Well, wait." Without the context, the audience just thinks I'm arrogant. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So, yeah. I actually have seen this. It's pretty good. Yeah. Right. You saw it, right? Yeah, it's a, good it's one, a right? companion video to the to the movie. So. Yeah, it's um, on. Uh, it's on there, guys. Official Facebook page, yep. and it's on YouTube. On YouTube so check it out. Well. Dead, uh, Dwarf Among Midgets, Dedicating Alfredo, official music video. Yes, yeah. we have a new album coming out. I don't know if I should plug it yet, but it's uh, it's dropping in September. In September. Awesome. Chemical Dwarfare. And there's like a huge event that you guys are. We are. Are you allowed, are you allowed to live that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to tease a little bit. Oh, so. my bad. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it is, it's September 30th. We are releasing our album at Harvest Fest. Woo! Right. Anybody that watches Woo! the podcast here, you see it first. That's the first mention of it. It's not going live for uh, for promotion until next week. So, yeah, yeah Harvest Fest nine. Yeah, the that's ninth why. Year. That's why. Awesome. Uh, that's why we always and tell you guys to check out the Kokomo Press podcast because this is where you get your exclusive. Exactly. Here's some more exclusive. Let's hear it. Uh, Sean D is going to be there. Hey! We just figured out today. Also, Jordan Granger is going to be performing. Hey, so I'm not going to give the whole lineup, but since we're here, you yeah. know, Courtney's probably going to be I'll be there it. naked. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Here, okay. Here's some stuff that, that I will I will leak. Let's do it. So we're going to do some, uh, some like, it's going to be more of a, like a carnival atmosphere this year. Oh, shit. So, yeah. So it's going to be like, we the album's called Dwarfare, like, you know, chemical dwarfare, so like warfare. But then we're like, what if it's a dwarf fair? <laughs> or like, let's do carnival <laughs> stuff. And like, it's the dwarf, it's the chemical dwarfare. And I'm like, it's just getting a little too. Anyways, but yeah, so we're going to do some stuff. That's one, one of the things that Courtney's I'm doing. I'm doing face do. painting. She's doing face painting. But I get to paint whatever I want. She gets to face. paint whatever she wants. So if you sign up for face painting at Harvest Fest, <laughs> you could get face painting, but you won't get to pick what it is. So you might walk away with a pair of nuts on your face. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. I uh, I that's what I was going to pick. Everybody in kiss makeup. Oh, that's yeah. And then, yeah, you might be ace freely. You might I was going to pick balls on my face. You know, win-win for me. Either kiss or a juggalo. Yeah, or a juggalo, yes. You got to pick You can paint my face before I do my set. Yeah, there you go. Paint him like Violent J. <laughs> Just do me a quick favor. Ask if they're Jelly Roll fans and be like, oh, no, you can't afford this. Sure we can't do but anyway, it. so that's one thing we're going to do. I'm we're accepting also, tips. We're going to have some other games we're going to set up and stuff. Uh, everything's not, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want all the cats out of the bag. Yeah. But there is going to be more than that. Uh, we've got the guac box coming over from Lafayette. We have food. There's going to be food. There's going to be music, comedy. We've got four stand-up comedians and five musical performers yep so tech actually six six musical performers i apologize um those will be released july 1st so look out for that um more information on all that stuff so it's coming but yeah the dwarf album is being released that day too so yeah we will have it's gonna be a huge night i mean we've got comedy we've got live music we got a a release of an album Mm -hmm. and you're talking i mean it's it's harvest fest in general and then on top of all that carnival stuff like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, how are you gonna miss gonna and it's furry it's, it's furry i tried to get a dunk tank i wanted to dunk kibbles oh shit i wanted to put like soap in there <laughs> like yeah. like bathe kibbles hit the side <laughs> that's awesome but we can if we first time he falls so. in you can't see inside the dunk tank anymore it's just dirt <laughs> oh, everywhere we to cost <laughs> that's so terrible to buy a dunk tank we were gonna use a trash can or something i know i was like let's this just build a, a dunk one. tank and i'm like the physics are just not there. How do they do this? Also, the insurance plan. Would be <laughs> yeah, off that, the roof. Too, that too. But anyways, there's there's going to be a lot of fun stuff. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, the album released, yeah. the comedy. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have artists setting up booths. We're gonna have you know other vendors like the I think uh, the the Crystal Rockley. Oh, what's it called? The what's Jennifer. Her, Gen- it's just Jennifer. But what's her? What's the name of her? Uh, 
business. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. they were there last. I should have done some research. Yeah, yeah I'm terrible. Anyways, I, uh, I think Corey said that uh, they're, they they were going to be coming out too again. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. like crystals and cool rocks and stuff. And like, I'm so excited. Cool. Guys, come out to Harvest Fest. And yeah. that yes. being said, come out to like, there's so many good musical comedians. Mm-hmm. There's so much Amen. live performances in your area that you could be seeing. Coco will be busting, bro. <laughs> Coco might be bust. <laughs> Divination creation. Yes, yes. There Divination you go. creation. I was trying to think of the name. That's what I was trying to think of. But yeah, and if you're looking for any merchandise, check out the Outhouse Record Store. Shopouthouse.com. Hell yeah, yeah. We've got a lot of stuff on there, including uh, stuff for Grey Garden, my band, and Hitman Maggie's band, Dwarf from Midges Resin, Dead Chain Alfredo, String Theory, Metamora. Old stuff. Old Harvest Fest. So if you if you're like, hey, I loved Harvest Fest, I want to get like a shirt to commemorate. I'm sure the new one will be on there. There's actually there's uh, there's posters. You can get the flyers as like full size movie posters now too. Hell yeah. Of awesome. All the flyers from from back all the way back to. Harvest Fest 2, when we first started doing promotion like that. That Dead Chino Alfredo back there, I actually awesome got posters, that yep. from there. So looks really good. I, I didn't get a big enough frame. Or the frame's too big. I didn't realize. I couldn't get the size. I was like, motherfucker, I can't find it at Hobbit. That's Lobby. so weird because it's just like a 12 by 18. If you buy a poster and bring it to Harvest Fest, I'm sure we'll all sign it for yeah, you. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was I've an, signed so many okay. DVDs. <laughs> I guess I'll let, I'll let this part out too. This is another thing for anybody that's listening. Uh, if you're a fan of Dwarf, we are going to get one vinyl copy of the new record, and we're oh, gonna and we're gonna sign it, and we're gonna do like a giveaway. We did talk about that, so um, hell yeah, yeah. So need more DVDs. I can't afford. Yeah, we'll, we'll have Dead Chini up for sale too, blue, oh, yeah. Blu-rays. Yeah, you but, uh, can't see it right now. We, we, can't, we can't afford a whole bunch of vinyls, but we're gonna we're gonna do one. It's gonna be like a limited edition, like a vinyl of Chemical Warfare. And we're gonna do like a, some kind of giveaway. I don't know if we're gonna do a raffle yet or how we're gonna do it, but yeah. I thought it'd be kind of cool way to to kind of commemorate the occasion. Plus, yeah. if it's like a, if it's we want it to be like a, a unique item. So anyway, so if, yeah, any yeah, Dwarf, exciting. Dwarf fans, that'll be it'll be fun. It's exciting. Let me see if I can get this. There we go. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> he did the thing. He did the thing. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I'm gonna get like a gigantic sweeper. It's exciting. <laughs> All right, sorry. I'm gonna get some sound effects in the future. That's that's gonna be season four stuff. Lots of sound effects. <laughs> All kinds of stupid. Uh, uh, show. What are you doing? What are you doing, Courtney? She's adjusting my microphone. Oh, right? yeah, there you go. I'll take it. She's always adjusting microphones, you know? <laughs> I love watching her adjust She does a lot of work around here. <laughs> she's, a, she's our gaffer. Do you? Yes. But, yeah, we Am have I Sean Del Rumble in the house. Hey, Sean D, everybody. So let's talk a little bit about what you've got Sean going D. on here. You're doing Indies Funniest this year. Are you excited? I'm, yep. This is my second year in a row doing Indies Funniest. Um... I love it. Uh, I love being able to, you know, perform at Helium Comedy Club and all the other places. Shout out to the places that support me. Crackers Comedy Club, Helium Comedy Club, uh, Blind Tiger Comedy Open Mic. Local. That's right. That is at uh, Elbow Room in Kokomo every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Come out. Hell yeah. Come on out, man. Hang out. You know, there's a lot of good stuff happening in Kokomo. Like Sean said before, you have no excuse not to go do something. There's, I mean, they even brought the Riverwalk concert series downtown is back. If you go down there, you can see some uh, some safe music. Uh, instead of, but if you want to go to Harvest Fest and you want to hear some, uh, some curse words. Since, since we're breaking information, I'll go ahead and, and announce oh. a show, too. Holy shit. Um, I will be opening for Randy Maurer at... 175 year celebration of Greentown. That's August 25th and 26th in Greentown. Randy Mauer. <laughs> Got him. Yes. Killed it. 125 years of Greentown? It's 175. Like, 175. Yeah, 175. Yeah. So it's like, that's weird. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I and I'll actually for the first time ever be doing five minutes of clean comedy. Oh, wow. okay. That'll be exciting. It's going to go up there and tell jokes about <laughs> Tresemme and Pert Plus. What? Mostly Oil stuff holidays. about. It's all mo- just soap. Yeah, it's soap jokes. It's mostly <laughs> stuff about my dogs. <laughs> just about your dogs. Yeah. Hey, my dog uh, is not horny. But don't. <laughs> but here's a clean joke. It's like, I, I don't like to use bar soap because it get, dries me out. <laughs> but at Harvest Fest, I'm going full dirty. Yeah, <laughs> full dirty. We're gonna, we're gonna, we've even convinced them to do racial humor. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're, we're Walk just the like, edge. <laughs> sure. We're gonna start doing. You're gonna start doing the drops every time. I'm just gonna steal an entire bit from somebody else. <laughs> oh no, we're having a good time. But also check out Sean D. Content. Check out Sean D. On, uh, on Sean, Sean D. D. is funny. Sean D. Sean D. is funny. Check At him out. Every every social media site, Sean D. is funny except for Twitter. I'm not woken up. 
Not woken after prayer? <laughs> no, I'm not. Sean D. Hey, go woke, funny. go broke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to go, uh, go woke, go broke. Go woke, go woke, bro. Hey, okay, and you, you you recently <laughs> went to a huge comedy festival. Checked it oh, out. Oh, yes. Friday I went to Burt Kreischer's Fully Loaded Festival. Whoa. I saw some great comedians. Big J. Okerson, Chad Whoop. Daniels, Fortune Feimster, Jay Farrow, oh, yeah. Shane yes. Torres, Mark Smalls, Louis Gomez, and Burt Kreischer himself. Oh, the machine. So I actually, I did get to meet three stand-up comedians. I told them each I was a comedian. I showed them my nifty little merch here. My Sean D is funny on Instagram. Hell yeah. <laughs> They're like, you should have told Big J and, and Louis that you know Dwarf Among Midgets. I, I should have. Uh, was Louis J. Cummins there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, we know we know those guys. We're like on Yeah, we're like best friends. Really? I'm best really? friends yeah. with we all of them. We played Skank Fest. Yeah. No, no yeah. kidding. 2019. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dwarf we, my we, we won the Battle of the Badass Bands on their podcast and went and played in Brooklyn. That's awesome. But yeah, we we showed up and like yeah we're but they we've also so Jesse uh, Jesse's actually been to like I think three skank fests other yeah. than that. So like they That's hang awesome. out and shit. Like we're all on like first name basis. And stuff. One of my favorite cool. podcasts is on Skank Fest. Uh, Kill Tony. Oh, yeah, Kill Tony, Tony fans yeah, out there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Tony's hilarious. Kill Tony. Yeah, I like Kill Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> not so great about the Asians. <laughs> and Thanks that, a lot. That sounded really arrogant. I was like, "Hey, tell him, tell him you know me." Hey, and if like, you but, ever, but uh, for real, like, you know, him. like, hey, you know, because we, we're 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 working with uh, uh, Jesse was actually talking to Lewis about getting on Skankfest next year. So that's awesome. Years, we might be playing, yeah. Because I think they're going back to New York next year. I would love to be on Skank Fest next year. That's what <laughs> you just ride with us, and we'll just like, hey, 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 we give him, get, let give him, him get give five. him ten minutes. Let him get five ten. He's yeah, got five yeah. minutes of clean material. Five minutes, Don't worry, yeah. he can get up there. Yeah, clean material work at Skank Fest for sure. <laughs> I have a lot of minutes of dirty material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. You need to do an entire set of clean material, but it's just so. Well, cool. if we roll up there, let's just <laughs> like, let's just, just caravan so up there. But they're really dirty. Let's just caravan up there, Jordan. You guys come too. We'll just yes, yeah. We'll all go to Skank Fest. I'll go live for the Cookman Press. Yeah. yeah, that sounds great. We you could do a, we fun. could do a podcast there in a hotel room. Yeah, I'm down with it. Who yeah, who would who would it's, come? It's a, I would it's come. A, it's, a, it's a fucking uh, blast, dude. It is a it is it's so much fun. It was my and joke. I will definitely sign up for Kill Tony if yeah, we yeah, are yeah. doing that. It was my that was my favorite like event we ever played, favorite show I've ever played. Like, yeah. it, and it, the craziest thing was it was New York, and because of that podcast and the Battle of the Bands, we got a bigger reaction there with hundreds and hundreds of people that have never that don't know us. You know better than we do when we play around here. It's, it's, it's true. insane. He gets a huge response from me. We okay. We I'm get a big response. We get a response here. Songs. But for playing a place that nobody knew who we yeah. were, it was crazy. You guys played the barbecue too, didn't you? Uh, no. Guar. We you guys played Guar. We, we haven't quit. We 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 played with Guar. We didn't yeah. play the barbecue yet. Oh, uh, okay. We, we get you guys there. We played with Guar at uh, Harpo's in Detroit in 2011. Hell yeah! But I just drove all up the way up to Detroit to open for. That's pretty cool. That's though. great. That's pretty lit. Yeah, it's almost as cool as driving to uh, New York and opening for the Legion of Skanks. Yes. What? Oh yeah. There we go. We played. Uh, we played. Th- <laughs> we played the same night. Like we literally got done and went back there, and like it was just crazy. Like Gilbert Godfrey was there, and like all these people that were just like, I saw as kids growing up, and I'm just like, it's so weird. They look like cartoons, you know, because it's like you don't expect to see them in person. Anyways, it was just it was a crazy ass time, but I'm. We're, we're trying to we'll try to go again. So Hey, I heard you're from <laughs> Dwarf Among Midgets. <laughs> the whole time you're like, dude, this is no. Not the, how the, you the funny is, I, is I, he dead now? Yeah, he's dead. I've told the story so many times, but uh, the uh, do you know who he is? Mike Lawrence. Yeah, comedian. Okay, everybody there thought I was Mike Lawrence. Oh, I can <laughs> definitely yeah. see that. Everybody said it. So I googled it. and I'm like, okay, yeah, I look like this guy. It's but it was cool because it got me in with a lot of the cool people there because you know I, they thought I was him and I'm like, cool. I got I got to smoke weed with Doug Benson. Because he thought I was Mike Lawrence, <laughs> and I'm like, I'll fucking take it. Halfway through, like it was, it's just funny. We're all standing there, and he just looks at me. He goes, "You ain't Mike Lawrence," <laughs> and I'm like, "Nope, I'm not." <laughs> it was the funny. I don't know. It was, it was I'm absolutely funny. Mike Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, I am him. <laughs> like, shit. just I'm actually Mike Hunt. Mike, Michael Che thought we were uh, that I was Mike Lawrence too, and then he was like, "Wait a minute." No, no, you're the stinky pinky guy. Like he, he knew us from the song, and I'm like, that's even better. Like if, if I just be known as the stinky pinky guy, I'm like, that's that's cool. Tell me a little bit about this photo because you you're like, hey, Sorry. you need to send me this photo. Okay, about Doug so Arnold, a crack or uh, my road dog, my buddy, my partner in crime, Doug Arnold, aka Dougie Fresh, opened crackers this weekend for. Uh, the feature was Benedict Politsky. He is uh, he was famously on. 
Fuckboy Island season two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, he's a very funny comedian from Indianapolis, Hell and yeah. the headliner was Dustin Chafin. Hell yeah! And is it the the fuckboy is obviously on the far right, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The guy in the middle would be. I think the guy in the middle would be just there for the zip line. If uh, yeah, well, he he's the headliner. <laughs> if he was on there, he'd you be just, there for the tip line. You have to, you just have to put those good jokes hey. in every episode. So I got to make a reference. Ronnie, to... I feel like you're just here for the zip line. <laughs> <laughs> every joke is this. I think you should leave now. You have you watched the show? Do you watch? I think you should leave. It's a sketch show. No, I you got to check it out, man. You'll love it. You got to give. It's the only way you're going to understand half the things Jordan says. Yeah, yeah. it's, all, it's my, all my references talks, constantly. All my comedies. Everything, yeah. He makes yeah. The, just his references to that are like my references always sunny. I get it. You. you know, oh, one of the episodes I was on was titled uh, YouTube is basically Bay now and it is for me. <laughs> most of that's most of what I watch. I when I'm not doing comedy, working or spending time with my family, I'm watching Burt Cast, Two Bears One Cave, Kill Tony. Mm. Yeah. Or writing material. Yeah, checking out. The, I, I wanted to go see that Burt show, but I wanted to see Shane Gillis, and I don't think he was in Indy. Or he was in Indy. Uh, so that, to me, that was the only misleading part is because I, when he announced all the people, I thought that meant that they all those people were going to be at every show. Yeah. Uh, and it was like Mark Norman, who, oh, big yeah. fan, yeah. hilarious. Love Mark Norman. Uh, Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. Uh, Could go without that, but go ahead. And David Tell. David like, Tell's the shit. Really? Like the goat. The goat. Yeah, yeah. He's also a dwarf fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he but is. He awesome. was on there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I picked that and up. Mark Norman. I picked that up. And yeah. Mark, hey, Mark Norman it's, do, it's yeah. comedy. Yeah. Mark mm-hmm. Norman. It's anyway, gay. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, oh, but <laughs> it's I've had so much fucking caffeine this morning. <laughs> but <laughs> like I am like wired. I'm sorry. <laughs> but so I thought when I when we bought these tickets that it was to see all of these comedians. Still great show. Eight of some of the best comedians in the world. Yeah. Um stand up comedian of the year, Burt Kreischer, actually yeah. award winning. Uh and see the machine in theaters yeah. or online. Was that coming out? Fully loaded. It's soon, right? Uh, it's on, you can rent it or buy it on It was in theaters right now. Oh, so it's yeah. available now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't. Yeah, I'm behind on that stuff. But I, saw, I remember the seeing machine. the preview for it. And I was like, that's, that's well, his cool. dad in the movie is played by Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just remember thinking, I was like, this is crazy that they're turning that into a movie because it's like mm-hmm. I remember the story and stuff, and like it's just. Well, I think the insane. premise of it is like he has this story, and then it's like become bigger yeah. than him, and then he ends up being forced to come back and deal with like repercussions from when he was younger. Yeah. And then the young guy that plays him is he used to do all those uh, fun like vines. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. I can't remember his name, but he did. Uh, he did the. Uh, you mean Boomer it? TikTok? No, no, it was. Fine. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it would be like millennial TikTok, TikTok. But how dare you? <laughs> how dare you, Boomer? TikTok. Anything that's older than Gen Z or Boomers. Now, boomer TikTok is just kids. called yeah. TV. They yeah, call us all Boomers. So. Actually, I do have. I, what I, kids? I have a little drop here. Probably uh, just found kids. out. Just found out. Gen Z kids are calling the '90s the late 1900s, and I feel like I just drank from the wrong grail in Indiana Jones. I mean, oh, it was. I know. Right? I've got like 20 minutes on this because I have six Gen Z children at my house. Um, six? Six, 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 six. That's too many. I'm gonna say the kids are the devil. <laughs> kids are the devil. We've looked into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, They're so like, the I hate this thing where like our generation was like, you know, you you were born gay. It wasn't a choice you made. And then yeah. Gen Z's like. We might be gay today. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. But not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just make up words. Like, yeah. did you know that uh, flared le- they call yoga pants flared leggings? What? Yeah. The band NSYNC is called S-N-Y-N-C. That's what they call NSYNC. Yeah, I saw this video of this Gen Z chick Jesus. being like, I discovered this band. Uh, S-N-Y-N-C. Have you guys ever seen them? And I'm like... <laughs> In sync? You mean in sync? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you capitalize it all. It's obviously an abbreviation God. or an acronym. My daughter's walking around wearing her dad's hymn shirts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is she a fan at all? No. She doesn't no. know what it is. She didn't even know it was a band. She, she probably it thinks cool. it's like a LGBTQ yeah. shirt. Well, the hardogram is a cool logo. It was so a hardogram. Yeah, it's yeah okay. and she doesn't even know the significance to Bam Margera. She no. doesn't even understand how, how in t- intertwined those two things are somehow. See, that's what I told Matt, and he said, well... Yeah. Well, let's, let's maybe we'll get up. into it though. I'm we, all, I'm I do all have a for, graphic. Well, Sorry. I got no, I got cool. one more uh, thing on the Gen Zs. My daughter famously thinks the lyrics to Empire State of Mind are "Wet Dream Tomato," <laughs> "Concrete Jungle," "Wet Dream Tomato." Okay. <laughs> 
So they haven't heard my, of my, uh, yeah. Um, of, they haven't heard of using looking up lyrics yet. <laughs> a to Z lyrics or meta lyrics. It's or crazy to me because like they have so much more information in the, their fingertips. You know, yeah. it's like you think they would just look this stuff up. Like her, she could she could Google what that is, and then like your daughter, and know what? that it's a band. Him. Oh. Like she she she, she, she could know. That it was she's a been band. wearing it every day. Like, every time I see her, she's got it on, and I'm like, you could have just Googled it so you know what's on your fucking chest. Like it's cooler not to care, bro. But I'm, I'm like, I'm all for fuck, it. Like, I think it's bro. cool. Like the younger kids, like even if they don't know what it is yet, because eventually maybe that will shift them into that interest. You know, like, like TikTok has become has made all these kids into like they're all into Deftones now. Yeah. And it's so weird to me that Deftones is having a resurgence because they're like my favorite band going 20 years ago. Yeah. And now it's like all these like teenagers are listening to it. I'm like, this is so weird. But it turns out they had popular audio on TikTok, and a lot of yeah. people use it on TikTok. It's all so now all of a sudden they're fans. But there's like I'm on I'm on the, like the Reddit. I spend a lot of time on Reddit. And there's always people like my age that are like shitty about these freaking kids. Don't well, know it's it. The same they don't thing even as, like, know. The radio. Yeah, but I'm like, like the oldie station. I'm like I'm the complete opposite. I'm like, why are you gatekeeping? Like just if the kids if they want to get into it, it's cool that it's, they're keeping the band popular. Like right. I don't care if they're popular. Well, it depends if you can't get a ticket, you know, and That's then you true. go to the show. So like, you guys know Steve Lacey is. You you know Steve, Steve Lacey is so. well we did it we did like when we did karaoke last night karaoke oh, party yeah yeah that's where I knew his I name wish from, I okay. knew you yeah. oh yeah I know that song. that song was yeah. huge on TikTok yeah. but it was only one clip and there's a famous yeah, video yeah, yeah. of them of of a bunch of of them at a concert and he's doing the song he's like I wish I knew you wanted me and then he puts the and they don't know the words to the rest of no. it because they only know that the part sense. that they've heard on yeah. a loop but on TikTok but that really now. happens with I mean as far as like the tickets cannibalizing themselves like. I was at a Cubs game a couple a couple weeks ago, and the yeah. Cubs are that they're that baseball team. That's I know you, you were talking shit on one of the podcasts a couple weeks ago, <laughs> and you're like, I could never be a Cubs fan because I don't like teams that lose. <laughs> it was last week. I was just talking shit yeah, last week. Yeah. Anyways, but I was I was White a, Sox fan. I was St. Louis White Cardinals. Sox, White die. Sox are terrible. Come on. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I was at the Cubs game, and it's, it's a similar thing <laughs> because we were making jokes at Wrigley because the Cubs are like a lot of people just wear it just to wear it because yeah. you're from the area or whatever, and like. The whole section we were in, we couldn't get a seat because we had the bleachers and we got there late because there was a pride festival going on a block away. So the yeah. traffic was terrible. Anyway, so we get in there and it's it's first come, first serve on the bleachers. So we had to stand the whole game, which is fine. I don't care. I always stand at concerts anyway. But we get up there and like the, all the bleachers are full and it's all these like like 20 something uh, like blonde college chicks on their phone the entire game. They don't even care. Yeah, they're they're just there to be there, like to party and stuff. They're there, like get a book, you know, get. A hot dog and beer. They're and just stuff. there for the FOMO. <laughs> yeah, and they just party in the. And I'm like, I'm like, that's cool. It's whatever. But like, God damn it, we, we're here to watch baseball. You know, it's like, like, like <laughs> you get the good seats. But like I said, it happens. It's the same. It's the same kind of idea. It's yeah. a, you know, it's happened with the TikTok music and stuff. But yeah, it just keeps happening. These kids nowadays. What are you doing? I don't like not being able to glare at you when I'm mad at you. Well, I want you to be able to glare at me when you cough. Anyway, didn't we didn't interrupt you on that. No, you're good. We, we we're talking shit, guys. We're here with uh, Matty Kroll. We're here with Sean Dale Rumpel. Sean D is funny. On Sean everything D. except for Twitter, because he's not woke enough. The captain, and Sean we've D. got Courtney, what? Leanne, Le- Courtney Le- underscore Leanne rhymes. Should be on that. Leanne, rhymes. Leanne Definitely. rhymes with nothing. What I rhymes with orange? Baby, everything rhymes. Am I blue? What? Leanne rhymes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you know the story behind that? Like I love that, her. That song. That uh, don't impress <laughs> me. I love Leanne rhymes. <laughs> no, what, did, what did Jasmine say last night? She said she wanted to. She wanted to do Dixie Chicks, and then she st- she started singing a Shania Twain song, and I'm like, Yeah, the fuck. She, she's, she's young. She's in her she's in her twenties. It's fine. No, but you know the story behind the how how uh, how do I live? Leanne <clears throat> rhymes like the the big hit or whatever from the nineties. How do I no. live? With... Okay, so I just found this out recently. This is an interesting thing. Um, so there's two different versions of it. Uh, Tr- who is it? Trisha. Uh, Trisha Yearwood. Trisha Yearwood. Oh, she's married to Garth Brooks. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Good uh, job. Anyway, so so the the crazy story is like she. Uh, so they wrote it, a bunch of producers wrote the song basically, and Leanne Rimes released it, and it was made for Con Air, which I didn't know it was made for that movie because you know it's in the movie, but like it was actually written for the movie. Anyways, Leanne Rimes sang the song, and it became like a big thing, like a you know big hit or whatever, and. Uh, but they end up using the Trisha Yearwood version. The reason that Trisha Yearwood recorded that song, like literally within months of Leanne Rimes' version coming out, they had Trisha Yearwood do it because Leanne Rimes is only 14. And they were like, oh, it's weird that there's like a 
they're they're kissing and stuff and there's this 14 year old girl singing it so they took that song even though leanne rhymes had already released it they i think they were more afraid that nicholas cage was gonna have sex with her <laughs> <laughs> but trisha yearwood recorded the same exact song and it literally it's the same genre same everything it's just the same song it always baffled me how both of these songs because they were all they both came out in the same like six month span yeah the reason they did it they had her do it so they could use her version for the movie and then the grammys that year it went up it was both of those versions were nominated for like best new song or whatever song and uh leon or uh i think trisha one, yearwood won. one of them yeah trisha yearwood won and leon rhymes performed that song at the grammys yeah. so or one weird. one, one way or the other weird. i'm like that's so weird to Leanne me like literally the same song recorded within six months one just got taken off because she was too young. They but thought. then everybody kept and making then, up some. But they were like, both up conflict. for the same Grammy. One of them performed and the other one won. And yeah. I'm just like, that is a crazy. <laughs> the same song. Crazy ass story to me. I'm it's like, like when uh, All for One sang uh, uh, the song that they, yes. that they did with John Michael Montgomery together, yeah. which mm-hmm. was really cool. Yeah. They used to do it all the time. The popular music would take country songs and, de- and develop it into like R&B like or like Ryan pop music. Song. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so many. They kind of. Or the Aerosmith backwards. song. Yeah, yeah, except for there was a whole different. Uh, Someone tried to tell me that Brian verse. McKnight song was uh, the the country guy sang at first. I was like, what? No, <laughs> no. So no. people think the same thing about that Aerosmith, that uh, the one for Armageddon. What was that song? Uh, oh Larry, gosh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. And uh, I don't want to miss yeah, don't want to miss a thing because there was a country version of that, and everybody said everybody was saying that when it came out, like that it was a it was originally a country version. Of Aeros- I'm like, no the opposite but that one was also made for a movie i was at walmart the other day and i heard a country version of banana pancakes <laughs> Make banana pancakes <laughs> that's so weird <laughs> or like she's a, it is weird a though age. how often that happened back in the day like yeah. like two different versions of the same song or like uh there's one right now hey you're not on yeah. mic i'm i'm Gordon, you're not on mic. Don't talk. Don't talk. You're not on mic. Or like, like, uh, I don't know if this uh, Bowling for Soup. You remember they had that song, 1985. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that was a cover of SR71, who was another big band of the same exact style? They released it like in like the year before. They released in like '96, and then Bowling for Soup covered the song a year later, and it like blew up. But if you listen to them, they're they're the same genre, same style, and everything. I'm like. They literally just recorded a version of this song from uh, one year ago, and it became a, big, a huge hit. And everybody thinks it's a Bowling for Soup song, and it's just so crazy to me. I've to heard of an it. SR-22, because I had to hold one because I get hit by an illegal alien in a Taco Bell line. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's funnier when it's delayed. <laughs> speaking, <laughs> speaking of 22s, I had a question I want to ask you, Jordan. I know yeah. you served, but are yeah. you very patriotic? Yeah, super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he loves America. Love That's America. awesome. There was a, a big moment at... Uh, Fully Loaded Festival, uh, like Burt Kreischer, the whole crowd broke out, sang the, uh, sang the national anthem, and like had the phones out as flashlights. Yeah. And uh, you know, then they broke out in a USA chant. Um, I just kind of felt bad because I'm not a very good American. Like, yeah. yeah, I have a shitty work history. I do illegal drugs, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure 9/11 was an inside job. That's true. Yeah, there was a time last year when I was afraid I was going to get traded for Brittany Griner. Yeah, that would have been nice. I actually actually advocated for that personally. I was like, send Sean over there. He'll at least be funnier. <laughs> He'll be more interested. Yeah, if you're gonna have a prisoner, at least have somebody who can tell you jokes. Yeah, like yeah. Hey, what the walk into the bar? Something like that. Hey, it's what the doing? Oh my God, stop Jordan, doing it. Jordan's doing accents again. I actually have a story about Leanne Rhymes. You know that song? Uh, you can't fight the feeling. You did from the mm-hmm. movie. Uh, uh, Wait. You can try. To can't resist. fight the moonlight. Yeah, that one. Can't yeah. fight the moonlight. That's what's called. Moonlight. That they actually had to rewrite that song because the original lyrics were like, "You can try to resist, you can't run from my dick." It was actually, oh, it was actually an essay. It was about oh shit. Was it featuring Daniel Tosh? Yeah, Daniel Tosh was in it. Um, I think he he did he did the drop for it. That's was a callback that wasn't on the podcast. It? It's not gonna make sense. It's called the Mickey. <laughs> That's funny. Slipping a Mickey. It was just Daniel Tosh and Bill Cosby. Well, last week we were we were uh, going for Chevy Chase. We were calling him out for being. You know, and Aziz and Sari, or as I like to call him, Kumar. Is that <laughs> four O's or two what? U's or <laughs> I'm I'm like, whatever happened to American Kumar. names like Dave or Bill? Dave or Bill? Or Harold <laughs> or Harold? Hey, I'm Harold. Hey. Kumar. I love that movie. Kumar. Yeah. yeah, there's some. There's some. some I, we were talking a little bit about gender earlier. I, I I fell upon this on Twitter, and I wanted to get you guys' in, uh, information on this. I don't know if this is satire, if this is real, but it says there are more than two genders. And I'm looking through, and I'm like, okay. How are you a woman on just the leg? 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> or, yeah. I am. I'm number three. Well, I guess uh, my right arm is a woman. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, in certain situations. What happens well, if you have a dick and a vagina? Where you true? Fall yeah, yeah. Where do you? Because that's in the so, same the same general area of anatomy. So, so which, uh, that would be right. That would be right here on the it would be far the left. Blue one at the bottom. Yeah, that you works have too. One leg is a woman. No, I'm talking about the one where they're half and half. That would be if you had both, right? If you had both. Oh, okay. What I, I saw. I think yeah, what if they're not that. left and right? What if they're on top of each other? There's a couple jokes that people wrote about it. So I wanted to. Um, this is one that I saw that I thought was pretty funny. Me when I carry all the groceries <laughs> inside one trip. Um, yeah, and then we got, That's the one I said was me. Uh, when you don't train your legs at the gym. <laughs> so you have women legs. And then I saw uh, when my vibrator battery dies for a woman. <laughs> uh, let me see. I got one more. Uh, me when I decide when I can't decide where to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I think that's my last one. Yeah. Oh, and then and then obviously Happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. Hey. Happy, happy, Pride. happy Pride. I don't know, is but he, this why is, this is what Pride's about, baby. Is she don't question him. What's going on behind don't the black box? No, I don't know, man. But I'm excited. Did I tell you? Why I think I she's actually tasing his penis, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a taser in her hand. Courtney, you don't there. get excited. There's literally a taser down here. And okay, she's is it? okay, I see it now. Oh, there's like what got, gender he's got is that? cables on his nipples. Yeah. What gender is tasing you, my dick? It off? really is a tough time to be that white man. I don't know that that's a gender <laughs> as, as much as a sexuality. Yeah. Well, uh, what sexuality is that? That's been a huge argument. I'm an electrosexual. That's been a huge argument this Pride. I don't know if you guys have heard because, you know, LGB rights were, you know, that's about sexuality. And then all of a sudden T's came in and now it's like LGBTQ and it's all about gender. So the first three yeah. things that were fought for were all about sexuality. Now a lot of the sexuality people think that um, it's kind of getting co-opted by gender ideology. They're like, we don't believe in different genders. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know. My thing is like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm. I'm into cis cis women. That's that's what I'm interested in. Anybody else can be whatever the fuck they want. I don't, I don't care. Cis yeah. is actually a slur if, on Twitter now. If, if what somebody, you do in your yeah. not my business. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm, I'm like, good. okay, if there's another gender. That's fine. I don't care. I'm just not going to fuck that person. One day I'm going to grow up. Because I am a straight white male. I'm the enemy. <laughs> I can but, see what if, what if I grew a penis? We've had this talk so many We've times. had this talk. You what start taking you testosterone did? and your, your clit just turns into a little bitty penis. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it because it wouldn't be like too big. Yeah. So it'd be like, it'd it be still be, be like small enough. You could still probably fuck me with it and it'd be okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Hurt. Maybe I'll it wouldn't, like it. It wouldn't get past the butt cheeks, you know? It's <laughs> yeah. really the thing. It's we should probably enough. make, I, I don't know if anybody, we're dating. So yeah. it's not It's not like we're just talking weird on the podcast. Yeah. Anybody that doesn't know. No, yeah, me and Matt are dating. dating. Me and Matt are yes, dating. Yes. That's what it's you were. No, no, no. It's not toxic. I'm Jordan's side bitch. That's the difference. Yeah, I don't know if you guys had uh, heard uh, Harry That's Potter fell on hi hard times. I don't know if you guys heard. Oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, Harry Potter. I thought You're that was American like his Harry. graduation picture. Yeah, no, this is Harry Potter right there. I don't know. It says crack possession. Crack Google. He said, oh, no, I'm a good album. Avada Kedavra. Is that Abra Kedavra? Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra. No, it's Avada Kedavra. No, what is it? A crack of cocaine. Avada Kedavra. A cadaver? Avada. You killed a cadaver? Avada Kedavra. I want to fuck a cadaver? Yes. Okay, I don't know enough okay. Latin. Is it actually just Latin or do they make it up for the movie? I don't like know. That was in the um, game. That was the one that you shot it and it killed Yeah, the but it's instantly. based on a book franchise. Yeah. yeah I fucked so the I books. assume maybe they were made up in the. I don't know Latin, so. I don't know. I, I just dead don't language. like trans don't people, learn so Latin. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you giving money to that. <laughs> you know, Sorry, I'm a transphobe. <laughs> you know, Harry Barely. Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is on the list of banned books. Is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's stupid because, like, a whole generation. Lo learn to love reading with that but book. But did you yeah. ever have friends that didn't weren't allowed to read them because it was oh, yeah. witchcraft? Because oh, yeah. oh, yeah. that yeah. was like a big thing when I was younger. Yeah. See, we used to shoplift witchcraft books from Books a Million. Yeah, yeah. me too. But these were nonfiction witchcraft. <laughs> my mom found it How under my bed spells? one time. <laughs> I don't know. My mom found it under my bed one time, and she got really <laughs> mad at me. This is the new they Pride book. They have cameras in there now. Do you guys like the I new know, Pride book? were there when I f we found them. <laughs> totally. Oh, nice. It just makes sure that it gets everybody. Everything. Everybody's involved. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to make sure everybody. The weed plant? Yeah. It's all inclusive. There's a Arab on it, I'm sure. The Jewish stuff. The ultra blind. There's the, the, the Methodist cross upside down with a. <laughs> I don't are know those? what's going 2072? on. 2072? Hold on. By then, all those brand things are going to be under, like, 
you're going to have Google and Disney. Yeah, yeah, They're going to own all the rest of those brands. They probably so, already do. So that's not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Disney, maybe AT&T. AT&T's bought out a lot of stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. So pretty, like, I feel like there's going to be like three main brands that own everything. It's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazy. <laughs> it's getting. It feels like it's getting there. And it's you all mean, owned we, by the government. I don't know if Apple will ever get bought. When we I have the One World Bank and uh, we're basically slaves. Yeah. Yeah. That's how oh, that's, now. Oh, now. Yeah, yeah. That's how <laughs> There's going to be a bank system out in space, and then they're going to get in with this chancellor, and then the chancellor is going to, like, you know, play corrupt with the bankers and then end up starting a huge what? galactic war. Yep. It's going to be crazy. Because they say a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but actually it's just in the future in our galaxy. Yeah. It's really just Star Wars. Yeah. And, and at the same time, we're all just dating our siblings, apparently. This girl, these two girls found out that they were actually related, but they said, fuck it, we're just going to date. They look like they're – how do you not – how do you they not look just, like they're twins. Yeah, how do you see that person? Like, oh, this person doesn't look like me at all. Like, one's I'm clearly really a attracted woman. to you because you look like me. Make sure I fuck them. One's clearly the male on the right, right? Are we are we all in agreement there with the chain? It's the chain that gives it away. Wait, what? The chain. The are they males? males? The I male. thought they were sisters. No, they're both. They're, I mean, but gender is a social contract. So guys. she's the pig. This is finding out we might be half sisters. It says it right there. Yeah, they're so. sisters, but like you know. He's trying to say there's a man in the relationship. Yeah, I get it. There's got to be. Who wears the pants? There always is. Yeah, it's me. It's you in this mm-hmm. relationship? Okay. In our Sadly, relationship? I'm yeah. not the man in my relationship. <laughs> I saw your... Just kidding, honey. I saw your... Is your wife, right? Yeah. Married, we're, right? we're still engaged. Common law. Um, just kidding. I saw her out somewhere, but I know she doesn't know who I am, so I didn't want to say anything. But she, she, she looked at me... She works at Dr. Tavel in the mall. That's so. where I saw her, actually, yeah. yeah. I was in the mall like, hey, I got these new glasses. They're transition lenses. What brand I, I don't know they? if I can say that. Am I allowed to say that? What brand <laughs> are they? I have trans lenses. I have trans lenses. You're what? not allowed to say that. I knew it. Fuck. What? What? What brand are they? Ray Ban. Okay. That's, that's all he all wears. He's a brand whore. I know. That's why I asked. Look at his North Face hat. He likes fish. What are you talking he likes about? fish. <laughs> I'm a huge. This is a North Face jacket as well. Yeah. North Face. When I hung out with you North the other face. day, I wore my North Face shorts just on, on purpose. I didn't notice because I was too. I was too dripping myself. I didn't care about your drip. You know when I'm when I'm just fucking I, pouring I, out. I'm melting. I own one pair, and they're like I wear them to work. <laughs> how how can you how can you wear how can you own one? Pair of something that doesn't Me. make sense. <laughs> it does because the pair is singular. The word pair is singular. It just means two things. Oh, oh like a, oh, you ate a pear. Yes. And they yeah. Like P E A R. I own one pear all. fruit. One pear. Fruit. Speaking of that, we actually thought me and Courtney thought we were related for a minute. Oh my yeah. god! Both of awesome. our grandmas' names are Davis, so we we're like going back. We we're like, we better look at our family. So tree. we've also had this. But talk. Davis is a pretty common name. Yeah. I feel but, like we've done enough nasty shit together. I, that I it, think you, it me, and Jesse like, are all related. It'd be fine That's if we funny. just kept doing it. I think I think it's far enough away that it's like you know, just don't have kids. Fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then it doesn't matter have anymore anyway. That's that's basically that's what I'm saying is incest is okay as long as you don't have children. Yeah. 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 Just don't procreate. <laughs> and as long really? as it's not your mom or dad. Can hey. We, can we can we cut the line off? I'm gonna of leave mom you for my sister. <laughs> Mom what? and dad's weird. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Don't make me jealous of your hey, sister. Hey, I didn't meet my sister until I was 18, so I can well, make we weird all, jokes. The first <laughs> person we all had sex with was obviously our cousin, right? Oh, okay. It wasn't just me. Yeah, just kidding. Might have. I don't remember that far back. Did you guys have a memorable <laughs> first time when you guys I'm not talking love? about this. Okay, well. I who, will tell this story. Let's hear it. Let's hear your story. I lost my virginity on a play place slide in McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, at McDonald's? Like uh, at McDonald's? At the play place. So was when I was close? sixty, when I was sixteen years old, I lived in a small town in Missouri called Desoto, Missouri. I was a, uh, <laughs> I was an employee of the McDonald's, and uh, I like I I made a deal because I didn't want to work Fridays, obviously because. I had a little bit of money, and I was 17 years old, 16 years old, around there. Nobody wants to work on a Friday. Right. Yeah. So I would come in. I would, like, go to sleep early on Thursday, and I'd come in and unload the truck at, like, 4 in the morning. And then I'd, like, make myself a big-ass breakfast, and then I'd go to school. Yeah. Uh, well, there was a manager that had to do it with me, had to do the truck with me, and she was 38 years she old. She did have to do it with you. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she, the she truck. did. That's where I'm going. Her dump yeah. truck. <laughs> Don't ruin the punchline. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> so she was 38 years old, and uh, one night, it was a snowy night, and, like, the truck was delayed by an hour, and uh, she was, she, she like, was squeezed my arm, so I, re- I, I reached in for the kiss, guys, and... Uh, oh. So he went for it. It's like a movie. It's we a had, movie moment. We had sex on uh, the Play Play slide <laughs> of McDonald's. Wait, it quickly. She touched your arm, you kissed her, and you fucked. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I, I, I would have to say most of the she girls I kissed... She was 38 worked at McDonald's. Fucked. That's awesome. 
and we're preying on 16 year olds. Why are we? Why are we being classist right now? I don't understand yeah. what no, we're no, no. doing hey, for. You deserve this. Wow. Yes. You deserved it, dude. I lost my virginity in a parking lot in Goodwill. Thought you didn't or want to no, talk about it. Just in a parking was, lot, or was in a car in a parking at lot? The car in the <laughs> just parking laying on the ground lot in the middle of the parking Dollar lot. General. Yeah. Oh, classy. Yeah, so you're not good well. oh, okay. Good. Dollar General oh, yeah. parking lot. At least you got convenient prices on the condom. Right. That's all I'm saying. I could tell. I could tell something funny. McDonald's. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Before Sorry. we go to Matt's Cro- Matty Crawl's story. So you're on the McDonald's side, okay? You yeah. So you say so I want to. I want to kind of get a play by play here a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. So you, so you pull her in for the kiss. <laughs> you're like, I got, we got an hour to kill. You know, I, what's I one start, minute? Well, okay, right? kissing went to touching and touching went to, uh, to, I'm sorry if you find this crude, but I went to, if I slip a finger in, is she going to be okay? Yeah. This was before you had to ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this didn't exist until like five years ago. Yeah, this, was, this wasn't, this wasn't me too. This was pre two. Okay. Pre-two. That's what we call that. Yes. Pre two. This is before. <laughs> and she was liking it. So I ate. It transitioned into sexual intercourse on the slide. Uh, me laying on the slide and her on top of me. Oh, um, so you got some. You got some uh, cowgirl. You just laid there yeah. to let her experience take over. Yeah. At I that mean, point, you're. It, it was the first time I had sex. It's not like I had a bunch of moves. So I think she just point. let her do her thing. You know, it's gonna be good. She knew what she was doing. She's yeah. probably been doing it for twenty years at that point. Yeah. So she's thirty-eight. You're seventeen. That, yeah. I, I was sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so we're going back now. Wow. That's illegal. Right. Hey, that was no, before it was illegal. It's okay. <laughs> before consent. <laughs> it was in the consent. Midwest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I, I, I will say, like that pre-consent thing. It is funny, but like you can give consent with body with yeah, 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 body, oh, body yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I was just I was just I know, being I know, I know. Yeah. But I mean twenty two year difference, like she's like doubled your age plus a little bit. That's pretty cool. I I, I don't like to think of it that way because yeah, yeah. then it becomes another trauma. Yeah, but to you it was just like a coworker. <laughs> <laughs> was it just a coworker? Just another trauma on the list. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been my thought process of literally every joke I've ever made. Yeah. yeah, but I'm sure the entire time you're like, Yes, fuck yes, this is awesome. Like, like, damn, oh, I was like totally feelings, into it. Yeah, yeah. it was only you didn't have any that's, second guess. That's great. No. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, what about you, Maddie? Let's let's get into Mine's it. Mine's not even that interesting. It's not interesting like it didn't yeah. as far as where it, where it happened. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's kind of funny. I think I've told you this before. I may have actually told you this before. <laughs> so let me let me recap really quick. Let me recap. So Sean, slide, <laughs> slide at a McDonald's. At a McDonald's. Courtney, on the parking lot of a Dollar General ground. Backseat of a car. In Backseat. The of, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. And now you Maddie. The car. Yeah, it was a cor- it was a convertible. Wow. Convert. Oh, okay. No wonder. No, no wonder. No wonder. Oh. No wonder. That would have been that would have been an exciting moment, and right in the middle of it, drop the top and just yeah. fucking up, up the excitement. That was no, the so the mine mine was boring. It was in a bed, and then, but okay. here, but here's the bed. funny thing about it. Uh, at least I think it's kind of funny now. I didn't think it was weird at the time, but like I had anal sex before I had vaginal sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, so receiving or giving? We that. were no, no. She was like super like weird and freaked out. She did she didn't want to get pregnant. Oh yeah. And she was so afraid of getting pregnant. She's like, well, what if we just did it in the butt and then we don't have to worry about it because we didn't have condom or anything. And I was like, okay. So like we ended up we actually ended up doing it anally for like four months before we ever actually did it vaginally. <laughs> so yeah, that was my whole experience of, of it was anal sex before. Like I didn't even know what a vagina felt like. I was like, am I really? Am I still a virgin? I don't know. Like I couldn't figure it out. But at the time, you know, I was like fucking fifteen. I didn't give a shit. You know, I was just like, this is. And she was my girlfriend. Like we, yeah, yeah. we had been dating for like oh. a year or something at the time, you know. Yeah. And it was just, it's just. A, and now I look back on it, I'm just like, that's weird as hell. Yeah. Like, there's people that have never actually never done it at all. Because yeah. you know, certain, some girls like it, some people don't. I will. Say, I mean, she ended up liking it, so we still we still did it. You know, occasionally after. I want to know how. But she just enjoyed it. I don't know. No, like how did she do it? Well, you picture mine. What do you mean? Thank you. Nothing. Never how, mind. How did you do what? Never mind. Like no lube, like just spit. No, it was lube. There was lube. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they did the whole thing. They knew what they were doing. No, Courtney's just being crazy girlfriend right now. No, um, no, I mean because like <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. She's yeah. trying I know to I know where comment on his penis size. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like how did it get in there? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody has a tiny butthole, Courtney. I'm sorry, my butthole's tiny. You have a pint-sized body. <laughs> Are we gonna get into this now? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's getting too no, no, personal. No, 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 no. We're gonna get into Jordan's first experience. We didn't oh, we, oh, yeah. Okay, so I've talked about the first experience on the podcast. I don't want to. There's no reason to rehash that, but I will tell you guys a more hilarious story. All right, let's. So, uh, so like, I was dating this girl forever. Like, we were dating like uh, in like I started dating her in middle school, and then we dated in high school. We were together for over a year. 
And uh, she never, she'd made a, she had a promise ring and she had like made a promise to her mom and her dad that she wouldn't do nothing until she was married. Like sex. Anyway. She had a promise ring to her parents? Yeah, yeah. Like they gave. Like, like a purity a, ring. Like a purity ring, I guess. Oh, that's, I don't I know. Mean, I guess that makes sense. Maybe it's a purity you ring. You get them at church. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, I'll buy this ring here. I promise. <laughs> I had one. Like, what? Well, so <laughs> promise that you'll only be mine, daughter. I had one. <laughs> oh, God. So I promise, daddy. <laughs> You're, I'm only yours <laughs> until I'm of age. So we like, we, she was like deathly afraid of like doing it for the first time. So we're like, we're not going to do it. So we were together and we started like getting physically intimate like early and then um like we didn't know like we, there was nowhere to go because there's this in everybody knows the end of the road is a specific place but we couldn't get there so what we started doing was we we would use like i'd put a condom on and then she would just like like rub against so you were amish not like i mean i what guess you could called? say that what was that called? What that's is that mormon called? isn't it where they like just rub on each other the and then they have fuck. somebody. It's Mormon, I think, not Amish. It's called soaking. Soaking? Ew, that sounds gross. <laughs> where they they just put it in there and don't move. No, 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 we didn't do that. I know. There was the, no entrance. There's another thing where it's like soaking, soaking and something else where the other person comes in and jumps on the bed. So That's it's the like, soaking. That's they, they put it in and then they, if, as long as they don't initiate. Yeah friction what? it's this a bunch of stupid I've mormon fake it's just like you gotta get a buddy to come just yeah yeah you, Jordan, like, hey, Jordan, you wanna come over? It's, like it's like a dutch rudder but like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what i was thinking like a dutch rudder like no you're doing the work i'm just laying here you just but jump we, up and down and we started with force. condoms but then they were too expensive so we're like we don't want to keep using condoms so what we ended up like transitioning to is like Sandwich bag? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Filled with lotion, you told me this. <laughs> tied off with a uh, a hair tie. Uh, you told me this. I, yeah, you yeah. told me this too. I don't I talk was, about I, it I a lot because it was it. such a weird situation. We did that for like, like I had like little plastic bags full of like jizz for like. I got to get rid of them, but like I, that's like a collection of was my jizz method bags. of like, 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 like stuff for like eight months, and then we tried to do it, and it just didn't work out, and then we ended up breaking up. So you just made condoms me are too too expensive. What's I have one guy <laughs> sandwich bag. I have one guy keep the condom he used with me in his underwear drawer for memories. Oh yeah. my god! That's I told so you that in weird. confidence. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so did Shut Sean. We all did. I told Courtney's mom in confidence too. Oh shit! Love you. No, brother. that's funny. You did the whole. Uh, he did the whole like, hey, I want to save my own baby. That's so weird. Yeah. That's like, weird. I'm I gonna save my own semen. Like, yeah. there's so many things that like I, I, I it slowly I'm... pops into my head, and I'm like, that was fucking weird. Yeah, yeah we that, have a weird life. That's how it is we with my know. like, the, you know, the anal stuff. I'm just like, it's weird. Yeah, Midwest, weird the Midwest is. I weird. I want to know, know what about to do. other people's buttholes now. I just love like, that Sean. Hold on, Sean's no, it wasn't over here like, on a. It wasn't like a slide. Instantaneous going in. It was, you know, it took some time to ease their way in. She was like, she was like, oh, let me go ahead and slide in. We'll get there. You're always destined to be a comedy because there was the pun involved in your first sexual experience. She was like, I'll just slide it in. As I've said on a previous one of Kokomo Press podcast, I was an overweight kid who moved a lot. Yeah. And so. Wait a minute. How can you move and be overweight? Oh, no, you mean, mm -hmm. never mind. Never yeah, mind. I mean. <laughs> I'm bad, I'm so confused. I'm just passing <laughs> Going so to different schools, moving <laughs> schools, and um, being funny before they could call me fat was the way yeah. I got through that. Oh, yeah, I think that's a that's a common thing, like, you know. I think that's all of us. <laughs> yeah. We all have insecurities that we mask with our, uh, with our I humor. Don't. You don't? I You're a fucking liar. I'm kidding. I'm Whatever, you did four months of butt sex before. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's traumatic, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta have a, a comedy project called poop dick <laughs> that was the most amazing part is i never got poop on my i'm like how is this even possible like it's yeah like i was that's what i was afraid of I was, i'm gonna pull it out and i'm gonna be grossed out and never want to do it again and then it just never happened and i'm like okay cool has it ever happened though no never you, you're always no actually, you must really compact the shit out of she's them. the only girl i've ever done it with oh like, okay that makes sense. We tried, but you know, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Sean. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 No, but yeah, like, and it's, it's weird to me. Like, I always thought I was just like, mm, maybe I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand the bodily. I don't know. Yeah, because I always heard the term poop dick when you're a kid. You know, cause it's like. That's, yeah, I think it's, it's probably just rooted in homo uh, homophobia or something. Probably it's more like that. Yeah, I don't like. I don't know enough about stuff. colons. I'm gonna do some research. I'll just say, Madam Gaping. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, this don't guy. Look this guy is. So you're saying, like you're, so you're saying it's not going to take months of practice. <laughs> I don't. This guy sorry, right here. Sorry, I'm sorry this, that hey, I have a normal butthole. I like your butthole. Ooh, it's okay. This guy Thank right you. here is doing the science we all need. To, like, what's the most fuckable fruit? Oh shit! It's so he's, grapefruit. It's American watermelon. <laughs> we all know grapefruit's like the most popular, but the question is, which one is the I'd most? I fuck a banana. You what? You probably have. 
Don't well, women, this like isn't. That. We're excluding women from this conversation because you guys are just full fucking phallic thing. Like I have never stuck a phallic thing inside of me. That doesn't hold on. Check out. You have kids. I yeah. I I can attest. That's yeah. not true. No, I mean like an a thing that doesn't. An object. Go in there. Never an object. No. So it's not not even life. a dildo. No. Well, okay. Well, yeah. But we're talking. That's talking, not made for it. I knew girls that were hey. like. Fruit uh, was made like, for I know God was like, I'm going to make dicks. They use like tiny people to fuck each other. Toothbrushes. Toothbrushes. I've heard people using Ugh. like. Uh, hairbrush. Hairbrush. Ugh. Straightener. I've seen straightener. Oh. I've always like, seen that. Like, <laughs> uh, not all on, obviously. <laughs> I've seen That's, that's a whole different level. I've seen all of these things, but I've never done any knives. of that. No. Cucumber, banana, this, hot dog. I saw this you one know, chick like to play with knives. Chicks were just using random objects. Yeah, and a lot of them. That's why That's why my gender is. of corn. Yeah. Country girls make do. That's exactly right. Country girls make do, ribbed. Yeah. That's why. I used corn one time. Yes. That's why they called it maize. Eating eating corn the long way. Because it's amazing. I've never. I don't know. I just made that up. (laughs) Anyway, this guy's interesting. I just just thought, you know, it's great that he's, you know, actually testing us out for all of us. He's, yeah, uh, totally. he's doing the I work. Mean, I mean, where, where are the results, though? And this science, this 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 podcast does believe in science. So let's just say that yeah, immediately. Of course. Wasn't he obviously doesn't. Doing it with something else? I want to see the result. Like, what does he say is the best? I don't know. He hasn't dropped it out yet. He's mm. still doing the okay. experiment. I'm, I'm waiting to hear. Wasn't there that. another guy that did the same thing, but with, like, something, other foods or something? I don't know. I just, I just yeah, these are the most fucked It was Jason Biggs in American Pie. He fucked a pie. <laughs> yeah. It was Jason Biggs. He, he was on a commercial Jason the other Ryan. day <laughs> about fucking a pie. This guy obviously doesn't have a girlfriend, but if he did. I wonder if she I would, says I his uh, cum tastes like pineapple. <laughs> I mean, I, wow. I have a girlfriend, but I'm also curious. I'm like, if I would have thought I of this, maybe I would have done it. You know? You never know. Can I do it with you? Hell yeah. Fuck like, apparently, pineapples make your, your, your semen taste better. Right. I'll Which just stand there. Like yeah, that was the bit. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's we'll the do exact. the grapefruit I first. told you, Jordan. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, pineapples make your semen taste better. I think there's a, there's a punchline there that has to do with... Uh, Shoving pineapples in her pussy <laughs> or something. I don't know. We'll throw some pineapples in there. Hey, pineapples in her pussy. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's important. I see a picture here. This guy looks like Rick Moranis. This guy? Yes. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this. Playboy founder Hugh Hefner's son started an OnlyFans to help pay for his Pokemon cards. His oh, name is yeah. Marston. Oh, what a little nerd. And he's like, I can't afford my Pokemon cards, so I got to sell wiener that is you have, have your son right dude there. if somebody would yeah. if, if somebody would buy would pay for me i would do that i know right because i want to get back into pokemon but it's so damn expensive to keep up with the meta bro the new mechanics are confusing <laughs> ex cards again i'm like yeah. you have to actually evolve again i'm like man now i, I missed the big basics already you guys got me on this one i'm not a... <laughs> yeah, okay because we are experts <laughs> you need that other one. <laughs> oh shit it's three starting cancel there we go. Oh, <laughs> no, but what, what I mean is, like, if, if someone would pay for an OnlyFans of me, and I know they won't, I yeah. would. Just to make extra money to, <laughs> like, you know, for, for Pokemon card or whatever else. I'm yeah. like, like, hell yeah, I would do it if, if I was. I've never shamed point, OnlyFans you know? because to me, if yeah. I was a woman, I would already be an honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah if I was, if I was a, 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 yeah, if I was a woman, it, it doesn't matter if I was ago. an ugly woman. Yeah. People will pay for an ugly woman. They won't pay for an ugly man. I thought about getting. That's how you start an OnlyFans. Yeah. I thought about getting a GoPro I need, I need and like card, card money. taping it to my back and then having an OnlyFans channel that's just every time I accidentally show butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> you make a killing out of fucking uh, a D&D tournament or a Magic the Gathering yeah. tournament. Just butt yeah. crack. It'd be your butt crack, other people's butt crack. It's just so much butt crack. What the because fuck? They, that's the craziest thing about like with with women. It's like like dudes dudes will watch porn of any, of like ugly chicks like oh, all yeah. day long. Go there, read the comments. On there if are, you know her, it's even more. Oh, likely. yeah, hundred percent. There there are like so them. there there's like so many different like things like that. But I feel like with guys, we don't have that option. But yeah, if I was if I was, I would hundred percent be on OnlyFans. But yeah, go read the comments on my post <laughs> about what the one I just posted. <laughs> oh I don't. oh, is there what you think we should do I in think, the middle of the podcast? I, no, I think oh, okay. that I could I could start an OnlyFans. You should. Is it the lingerie thing? Is it a bunch of creepy yeah. dudes? Is that what this is? Can you not bear the lead? Tell us what happened. What are they posting? No. It's oh, the picture of the, the picture lingerie. Of me in the dress. Uh, what are they she, saying? She, okay, for those that don't know, she bought a dress that looks like lingerie, and, she, and I told her it looked like lingerie, and she didn't believe me. Yeah, so yeah. she put it up on Facebook to see if other people thought it looked like lingerie. Yeah. So, so if you're was. seeing this the day late, go on there and tell her it does. It does look Courtney like lingerie. What do we want to do? So, and it would also be throw. Yeah, both. And it would also be a throw rug after it achieves its intended purpose. Oh my God. See what. 
You have a gr- you have a, a boyfriend and it's on Facebook. You need you to gross. text me in care. like two days and tell me how many times that post got you offered dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna <laughs> be too much. It's gonna be way a lot. Whatever you want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, but it just looks it looks like a like a nightgown or something. Like we a live night, in Kokomo, like a, Indiana. This is gonna get bad for you. No. Yeah. Oh, most of our posts do. It's fine. <laughs> It's not public. You can't but I, t- see it. I told her when we got together that I, I'm I, I, I'm, it's cool. I don't care what she posts online. Like I'm like I don't. I'm yeah, not. I'm not gonna not be one of those guys. that's like weird about it. I don't give a fuck. All these guys try it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not gonna go anywhere for them. You know. Yeah, they're gonna. And I know waste that. So like I'm not. I'm not an insecure boyfriend. I should say. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. I like her being. jokes. I like. I like those ridiculousness. Like I don't want her to change just because we're together now. I'm like no. I like your yeah. ridiculous dirty totally. mind. Yeah, you're so dirty. Yes. Now you're just involved in it. Oh, yeah. Well, the the bad th- the bad news is even if you don't have an OnlyFans, the the government already has your nudes. That's basically what Hell this is. Yeah. Oh yeah. I US think about the people that have seen my Snapchat entirely too often. Oh yeah. I mean, like the people that U.S. intelligence has a mass sensitive and intimate yeah, data right. on like nearly thousands. everyone. I saw a clip from JRE where this former Navy SEAL was talking about how even after you take your phone's battery out, they can still hear what you're saying. Oh yeah, yeah. They have the ability. I'm just to... accepted at this point. I'm just like, I don't care. Yeah. I what think have they, what have they done so far to fuck me? You know nothing. Oh yeah, if you They're don't do anything wrong or whatever. Did you guys see the most recent episode of the, of the Joe Rogan experience? I wasn't of sure course if you guys we did. We all this. watched Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if you guys. I love Fear Factor. <laughs> like this actually happened. <laughs> what? Yep. Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell <laughs> got together and dressed up as furries. Are they fur? They look like mascots. Like. Yeah. yeah, we've been holding it in forever. This is my true identity, uh, and you know what? It just eats me alive to not tell how we met at a furry con. <laughs> well, we didn't know that we met there. Remember? Well, yeah, I didn't know who you were for a long time. Yeah, we didn't know. I'm like, oh my god, you're Meow Meow? Dude, it's blue mind. I mean, to me, that is proof we're in a simulation. Because mm. what are the odds? They're not good. What are the odds, man? The odds are also not good that I'm going to keep this fucking helmet on. <laughs> 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 anyway, I thought that was the funniest shit I ever seen in my life. They, I was like, they definitely get it. That's hilarious to do. What are you guys' thoughts on the living in the simulation? Oh, I'm definitely living in the simulation. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, the the thing that I hate, if I'm living in a simulation, why do I have to go to work? That's the only thing that I'm like, whoever right, started this, this is shit. not real. Why do I have to do it? Especially any of this where shit? I work, the shit sucks. Yeah. Like, why is there a third shift Let's in the quit. simulation? Just give us all first shifts in you. Let's quit and just be podcasters. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah, it. Yeah. Would, would be great. I was so. Because we're entertainment. That's what we are. You guys yeah. gave me so many times with your satire, and I'm like, ugh. When I was so happy for you guys. I like sent, I sent messages to all of you. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. happy for you. Oh, I'm so happy. You guys got it. You you guys work so hard. You deserve it. And then it's like, <laughs> ha ha, got him. God. Yeah, you're talking about the uh, the uh, dude from Z925. Yeah, I can't remember his name at this point. Yeah, I, know, I knew it was April Fool's in the beginning, and then he's like, "No, it's not." And I'm like, "Okay." I was trying to convince. But at a certain him. point, is it a joke or are you just lying? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to keep up. But we made a we made a pact that we wouldn't even. I like, Cordy didn't even know. She thought it was real, which for is fine. I would rather you no, lie. I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You did. You're no, such I a liar. Didn't. I would rather you she lie. I would rather L. you lie to me to make a joke to the masses. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah. It, to me, it was like the whole idea was like if we don't get to. Uh, if we don't sell this, then there's no point in doing it. Because, yeah. like, it's boring if we don't. Yeah. It's so gotten to the point now where it's like it, April Fool's is just so, like, you're, all, you're like, everybody's on the lookout for yeah, jokes. Yeah. Nobody believes anything that's actually true anyway. Yeah. You know, it's just like, I don't so know. Did I like, was he I like in on it? Yeah, he, he did a whole video and everything, yeah. He was that's in on great. it. We reached out and said, hey, we, w- we thought about this. Would you be interested? The only way we can sell it is if you do a video and say you did it. And he mm-hmm. was like, sure. He sent two versions. I got yeah. two versions. Nice. But yeah, he sent two awesome. versions and I picked the one it's I It's cool that better. he was in on it. I, yeah. I thought that was interesting. Until right. the end. Until, Until the he end. made us delete it. Yeah. He didn't make us delete anything. No, he got it's mad about true. the dick tornado. <laughs> yeah, it was, he didn't make us delete it. Oh, he was just, he, he was like, like, he messaged like, us on like Monday and was like, hey, are you guys going to tell people it's a joke or not? Because I'm getting shit about the dick tornado at work. Like, basically, they were giving him <laughs> shit. What did you oh, say oh. about a dick tornado? There was a post that looked like a dick. It was a tornado that looked like a dick. Yeah. Oh. I posted because okay. everybody was talking about a tornado coming, but nobody saw a tornado. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, destroying houses, but it didn't kill anybody. So I was like, I'm going to put a big, gigantic this dick up and see, say, oh, I found the tornado. <laughs> and it blew up because, you know, people love dicks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. People love dicks. It's dicks and fart jokes. Yeah. You can make fun of dicks and fart jokes. Yeah, I, like, I used don't to don't make do, fun of a vagina though. No, I used to do April. Don't. I used to look forward to April Fools like yeah. until the last couple of years, and now it's just like everybody looks for it now. Social media ruined it. I did bad shit though. I put a suicide note on Facebook one year. <laughs> 
Yeah. And my mom was so upset. Like she was so bad. And I didn't tell her. I didn't get back to her like all day. Like it was bad. I was <laughs> I was like edge lord among edge lords at that point. But I also I I, I quit my job one time. Um to my boss, with it was Mark. He was my boss, so I was messing with him, and I put in my two weeks. And at the time, I was like one of the only managers or whatever. And like, uh, I waited until I saw him start going through applications before I told him. <laughs> he was so pissed. I did was it at work mad? too. Oh yeah. I mean, he was pissed, but it wasn't like pissed enough to where he's like, yeah. you know, gonna fire. Well, he me. probably called his bosses and told them. Yeah, and yeah, he did. He did. And like, and I was like, man, I, I used to go all in on it. Like one year, I remember when I was like sixteen, I told, uh, I got my, uh, I told my mom that my girlfriend was pregnant. And again, I didn't tell her. I didn't. I waited till like 10 p.m. to tell her that it was April Fool's. Because at that point, you know, back in the day, people didn't like look for it. But now it's no. like with social media, probably it's like everybody's like you're aware of it. Like back right. in the day, you knew it was April Fool's, but you don't think about it until somebody right. gets you. It's now not in the front of your yeah. Life. Now you, if you pull up Facebook, you're gonna see something that says April Fool's like right away. And like oh yeah, it is April Fool's. So then somebody tries to trick you. It's like no, yeah, I know what's yeah. going on here. But I used yeah. to I used to love April Fool's. Uh -huh, April I probably Fools. took it too far. But but I wanted to tell you like like the reason I did that was. We've had a talk before, actually, last year's Harvest Fest. We had a talk about, like, how great, like, people that like our stuff, my comedy, this podcast, mm -hmm. the Gray's Garden, Dwarf Among Midgets. If we didn't have to work 40-hour-a-week jobs. Oh, yeah. The quality would only get better. Yeah. I would love to do yeah, stuff like this for a job, you know. Yeah. Eventually, that's the plan. We're going to try to get something going eventually. It's just, it's. I mean, it takes time to build something, mm -hmm. and a lot of us don't have money from our father, okay. or our fathers at all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So it's like, I know a lot of people in town have a leg up because their dads had money, or their moms had money, and then it's easy to build an empire when you have the financial capabilities. For us, it's all about word of mouth, and it's about putting the work in and it's about being talented and it's about like actually giving a shit about what you do. And a lot of people don't do that. A lot yeah. of people don't have that, that, that vibe, that, that, that tenacity. You know what I mean? We just need a wrongful death suit in our family. Like master yeah. P got in 1997. Yeah. That's such a good That'd story. Be great. Cause yeah. then he, he literally got 10 grand. Cause like the hospital, something about his mom, like they gave him the wrong medicine or something. She died yeah. and it's fucked up. But like, he ended up getting like ten grand, and he opened a record store. And then within a year, he was a fucking multimillionaire. Like, it's well, he's insane. also the type of guy that actually like would go out and actually he's like us. Yeah, he's tenacious. yeah exactly. You, well, that's you what can't I'm saying. just do that if you're a nobody. Yeah, he he's tenacious, and he had he had the drive. I'm not saying he just did it because of the money, but he got that money, so he was able to do. He opened the record store, which led to No Limit Records, which led to all this stuff. And yeah. it's like if we just got a big settlement, like you know. If somebody got hit by a car or something, yeah, yeah, that's what I, <laughs> Sorry, that's yeah. what I told him last year at Harvest Fest. I was like, I just dream of like, oh that. gosh, can I win a hundred grand in the lottery and then we can all just not have a job and I'll pay everybody a salary and we'll just yeah. mm -hmm. make TV and you podcasts. Said, you and said for my OnlyFans money mm -hmm. that I'm about to make. There you go. Let's do it. You said Master P. It's because his mom passed away, right? Mm -hmm. Wrong for that. Well, no, maybe it's his grandpa. So grandpa maybe mom, somebody. I need you to take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's literally like I, I just i just found this out recently on a podcast it was uh that 60 so 60 songs that explain the 90s podcast yeah you told great. me about that i but, think that's exciting but they were talking he was talking about master p how he how, that's literally how he became a millionaire he just he got a settlement of 10 grand and he was like all right i'm gonna quit my day job open a record store and then he's like he convinced his little brothers silk the shocker and uh Mystical, see murder. 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 That's his other. Yeah, they're all brothers. So he convinced them. He's like, let's let's start rapping together. Let's put out a record. You know, I got a record store. So they literally they put a record together. And then they did solo stuff and they started selling at the store. And then like I think he had like 26, 26 records or something come out that one year alone just on yeah. the record label. And like eleven of them went like platinum, which is insane. And well, he, he also hit rap at the right time with the right yeah, style. That yeah. late '90s, yeah, exactly. Like you know, all that that style was perfect for the time. But like, yeah, he he just hit lightning in a bottle, yeah. and within a year, he was a freaking multimillionaire, which is so crazy to me. But with 10k, yeah, ten thousand yeah. dollars, he flipped it into you know almost a billion. I'm so mad you guys aren't rich. I wonder what 10k was like. How much 10k would like the value and power of 10k would be now? I mean, I probably feel like way less, with right? inflation, it's I mean, it's probably equivalent to about 20k now. I mean, 25, this is 25 years yeah, ago, so I could see that. Yeah, now if I had if I have if I could flip 10k into something now, I would be like the most surprised person. But even it. 20k, I don't know what we'd flip that into. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we can figure it out. I, I think I think we have a pretty great idea if we could get into. Well, the way he did it was he he was able to quit his day job and yeah. just focus on the record store. Yeah. So he was able to open his own business and he used that to go. What? Never mind. No, don't give away. Don't give away the idea. I'm not. Okay, were you getting ready to? No. Okay, good. No, but like, yeah, no, like yeah. It's, it's if you if we could figure something out like that. But again, like I said, he did have the mind. He had the 
the business mind and he had the drive to want to do it, which is obviously a big part of it. Yeah. But the real question is why hasn't Mike Wilson taken his record store money and created a record label and get true. us all rich? That's true. <laughs> that is true. Mike should be taking care of us all. It'd be funny if Mike was like, hey guys, I'm starting a record label. Can I get everybody? And we'd all be like, nope, you're a record label. And it'd be hard. It's, so people aren't as collaborative nowadays. Like we are. It's, we have a pretty good yeah. group, honestly. Like last night, we were doing karaoke. We had uh, Michelle Bratcher came through multiple times on the podcast. Very good actress, singer. And then we had Bobby Trill, aka Zach Stroop, come through, a producer, music, you know, one of the first guests on the podcast. And I'm like, we're all hanging out just doing stupid fucking songs all night. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is this is the brain trust, you know? Should have brought, could have got Sean out there could have got Brian West, Jordan, Jordan Bell, Hypocrisy Jones. Like we've got a lot of good people that are that are smart, capable, and are doing things. Like Bell basically turned like uh, his uh, podcasting. He's basically turned it to eleven with the In Your House podcast. So that's been that's been pretty fucking sweet to watch. If you guys have seen it, he does mm-hmm. his own show on there, Friday Night Hype. Mm-hmm. And he's been doing the weekly plug, which you got to hit him up for the weekly plug, man. You should, you could be. A guest yeah, uh, I mean, if you if you watch this, I'll be a guest anytime, buddy. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Jordan Hypocrisy Jones will watch this episode. He always watches all the episodes and tells me all the crazy stuff. He's like, you guys are wild. White folks be white folkin. <laughs> white folks be white. Boys folkin'. being boys. Did you guys hear? Uh, did boys. you guys hear about this really small story about this submarine thing? I don't know. It was really oh, small. No. Nobody it's heard nothing about it. About it. Never, yeah, small. the CEO of Ocean Gate, totally. which is operating the missing Titanic Taurus submarine, explains that the company didn't want to hire any ex- experienced 50-year-old white guys because they weren't inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about it and what I do, stand-up comedy, everybody's like off to the races when something like this happens oh, yeah. to write the best mm-hmm. joke about it. Um, if you want to see mine. Come to the places I come. Follow me on social media, hey. and I'll tell you where I'm going. Sean D is funny on social media. Also, yeah, dangling in front of him there. Submarine on expedition to Titanic wreck has gone missing. I gave Ocean you guys Gate, a couple, which runs two hundred fifty thousand dollars to seed expeditions to the wreck. Confirmed that a search and rescue operation is underway. Um, and then this is a graph mm. that shows how far down. This is USA Today. Uh, so they they show you the inverted Empire State Building, the Liberty fucking Lady Liberty, and uh, you can see a giant squid. Maximum known deaths, burn well. I don't think they're as big as th- those aren't to scale because <laughs> they're as big as the, the buildings. I mean, oh the God. giant squids are pretty big, so are yeah, sperm whales. Big. As might, big that, as the Empire State Building, they're not as big. Well, not the State Building, but it's as big them. as that boat, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that seems about right. I don't you know. You think so? I, okay. It might be to scale. You might be right. I don't know. It to me, it just looks like the, the Empire State Building. Why would that not be? Courtney, I wish you knew how to use them. I don't know how to do it. I can't see because this thing is like at my angle, everything is like. Let me see if I can turn it a little more. I mean, it's it, look, it's yeah, it's as wide as the Empire State Building. Better? Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not necessarily as tall as the Empire State Building, yeah. but it might be as wide. You know, I mean, giant squid and sperm whales are pretty huge. Aren't sperm yeah. whales like the biggest, mm-hmm. biggest fish or mammals? mammals? Biggest, biggest mammals, mammals in the ocean? Yeah. yeah, in the world. I'm Maybe. just wondering. Do you think if sperm whales are fuckable? I mean, you know, so they got their name. Sperm I mean, whales. Well, I thought you... we were gonna stop talking about Courtney's mom. Hey, wow. <laughs> oh, damn, rent for your mom. I, I mean, what else yeah. is the blowhole for? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, they they want to blow me hole. Am I right? <laughs> oh man, you're like you know, you act like your mom's gonna listen to the podcast. She's like, I'll tell you. Love my you. mom's not gonna love listen you, Rhonda. To Rhonda. I don't know you. I'm not trying man. to fuck my mom. She's he's not. We're not trying to fuck her. Okay. Because you are fucking. And her. then everything was joking. Uh, everybody was joking about all the different things going on, obviously. And then this is the stepson of the missing billionaire, and he was attending the yeah. Blink. 82 and he said it might be just tasteful billion here but my family would want me to beat the blink 182 show as it's my favorite yeah. band and it helps me in music i love it <laughs> <laughs> and there he is he's just a young man he bought me the tickets I see that's funny like i didn't know i didn't know that <laughs> and jesse sent me uh he was like a t-shirt idea for dwarf and he was like something about blink 182 it was a blink 182 joke about the ocean gate thing and yeah. i didn't i didn't i didn't correlate the two i didn't he just sent it this morning and yeah, that's funny now. Now, well, now I can understand. Everybody was like obsessed with the controller because they used that Logitech controller. And then somebody made this one like uh, like the sub captain passing out four of these when it became clear it was over. <laughs> did, you, did you see the one that had uh, the bottom of the ocean and they could see like all that made it was the controller? <laughs> Like, why use a thirty dollars Logitech controller? I don't understand that at all. Like, it's so weird. Don't cut corners with my life. Yeah, yeah. especially two hundred fifty thousand. Like, if you're giving somebody two hundred fifty thousand, at least get like a you, like. you heard what happened though, right? Yeah, at least get like an elite, you know, imploded. pro pro controller. Yeah, it imploded like a hundred fifty dollars controller. Even... You know. Well, they've been down there before. This isn't the first time. It no. just was the last time, probably. But this is when they like checked it beforehand and they it's needed so, to fix it. It's funny it... to me that it's <laughs> called it's called Ocean Gate. 
And like it, it sounds like a conspiracy. Yeah, it does. Like, like it was so a, weird, that's the perfect you know? game. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's so funny to me. I thought Russian it was made gate, up. Ocean Gate. Yeah. 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 Titanic man Titanic took a gate. couple more Ocean Gate took a couple more out there. I heard Galeen so Maxwell did, was did on it there. land near the Titanic somebody. there was no women on there that's the worst part it's so deep that nobody knows yeah that is well they saw that it imploded tragic. and they saw the bottom saw oh. it on the bottom I just didn't know if like did it make it to the Titanic like did they end up they get to at least see it before they went. yeah like <laughs> did they at least get like hey it's a Titanic pull over yeah, I don't know. It just, it just the, seems the, like you know. Well, the, the funny, there, the funny so. thing to me is now, like twenty years down the line, there's gonna be another submarine go down to see the wreckage of the Titanic and the wreckage of the Ocean Gate. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be a thing now. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> you're gonna see both of them, and then they're gonna die. And then another couple of years down the line, someone else is gonna want to see that. It wreckage. reminds me of uh, Mount Everest. Have you heard about like when they go up, people you know go to summit Mount Everest on the way? The bodies, some, the bodies are the markers. Like people yeah. are like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I saw Red Hat blue, on the it's way. There's blue boot guy. Or yeah, something. yeah. There's a lot of different red people out the way. Yeah. There's different. That people. would be the that would be the sign to me that like yeah this isn't a good idea. I'm just yeah. gonna go home. Hey, can I go back now? Or yeah, they're like you're already going. Well, some mind. people stop at those markers and then go back. Yeah. yeah. Like. Yeah, I'd be like, we made it far like, am I gonna really feel better once I get to the top of this mountain? No, I, I ain't know. gonna change that in my life. I, all that. Exactly. I just or, don't know what I'd it rather does be for at you. home playing Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me doing. <laughs> then go on Mount Everest. Yeah. If I got up there, I would jerk off just to be like I'm the first person to jerk off. On the I, top you're doubt, I doubt you're the. first Oh, I'd be the first. I yeah, but you're the, he'd be that's the first one to blog about it. Yeah, yeah. and I'll like mm. go on Facebook Live. Like, hey guys, I'm, I am, I'm, I'm live off. on my OnlyFans right now, jerking off on. <laughs> you'd be snapping, dude. Pictures. I would subscribe for that. <laughs> come just, yeah. that just okay. Look it's just great on the podcast. That's a great OnlyFans it's idea. Yeah. Comes yeah. out. Great OnlyFans idea. There you go. You, you go and you jerk off in, in places that have places? never been jerked off in yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I would subscribe to I'm that. I'm here in the St. Peter. Oh, there's definitely been somebody to bust a nut. In, in yeah, the but have Vatican. they blogged it on OnlyFans? Have they taken... Oh, yeah. Have they... Have you they get arrested video? real quick if you... <laughs> I mean, you don't do it, don't do it live. Then you do yeah. it, and then you need to make sure like you get out of there. I feel like this is the thing that's already it. on Pornhub. Yeah, rule probably. 34. Rule 34, yeah. yeah. You're right. Well, Rule 34 if, just states it will be at least, right, eventually. No, if you it, jerk it off in the Vatican, they invite you to be a I priest. did see a cartoon that <laughs> you sent it of the, of the Ocean did, Gate. Yeah, did I send you that? It was the Ocean Gate on Rule 34. The octopus was fucking the thing. It was using the, ocean, the submarine as a fucking dildo. All right. a, a giant octopus. God, it was yeah, so yeah. funny. Is it Rule 34 or 38? 34. 34. Did you say 38? No, Am I, I crazy? said 34. Is it Rule 32? The craziest thing about Rule 34 rule is, so I follow I follow Rule 34 on, on Reddit because, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's always funny to scroll Why by not? and just see random the most random thing. The day that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet came out, yep. they had, like, all the chicks from the story, like, literally the day of, I'm like, I've barely even, I don't even met these people this yeah. game. And they've, there's already porn of them. And it's just, like, it's so insane. Like, somebody's, like, on call ready to just make <laughs> porn of, of fictional things. And I think God. they're supposed to be like teenagers and shit in that game, like or kids. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, I it's mean, so weird. Like, what's that? But chicks? they're cartoons, so nobody cares. Right? I just That's true. It to you. Yeah. You That's did. That's true. What'd you say? It's pretty me? hilarious. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Jesus, I cannot put that on here. But that's no. hilarious. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll flash it. Hey guys, just Google just it. So you see it. Octopus fucking Ocean Gate, <laughs> <laughs> or just Ocean Gate Rule Thirty Four. That's true. Yeah. Did you guys hear? I, uh, we've been talking a little bit uh, on the side, you and Maddie, about AI and how oh, yeah. like the future of AI. Like a lot of writers, you know, the writer strike is basically centered around this idea of AI. And then this week, Secret Invasion came out, and they have an AI opening mm -hmm. um, intro, and a lot of people were upset about it. Well, I've read this. I'm wanted to, I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention, but this is a, 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 an article in The Atlantic, and it says, In the past few weeks, I've talked with dozens of educators and students who are now confronting, for the very first time, a set spate? A spate of AI cheating. Their stories left me reeling. What reports from on-campus hint that legitimized uses of AI in education may be indistinguishable from unscrupulous ones, and that identifying cheaters, let alone holding them accountable, is more or less impossible. So... The first year, this, the article's called The First Year of AI College Ends in Ruins. And it basically is talking about the fact that kids nowadays are just going into AI, going into chat GPT and saying, yeah, it can write, write, write something essay. about yeah. this. And it's just like, there's no way they can do anything about it. Oh, I actually, I tried to, I did an experiment myself. I was like, okay, so I want to see if chat BT is ready, is ready or, sorry, is better at writing jokes than me. So I was like, uh, write a joke about North Korea. Mm -hmm. It doesn't know how to be I'm funny. Better. Yeah, it doesn't know how to be funny. <laughs> yeah. I, I did the same thing. I wanted it to tell me like funny jokes, and it's like it just doesn't know. How, it doesn't understand humor, which is understandable because it's AI. I mean, it, may, it might eventually, but that's literally how I got my jelly roll joke. Oh shit! I'm, I mean, what? Hold on, wait. So, no, whoa, no, 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 no. I experimented, I experimented with Dwarf uh, <laughs> writing this new album. I was just like, well, 
let me just see. Let's see if we can get some ideas. You know, yeah. we're like, let's figure out what we want to write. And I put it in there, and like, it, it writes because I asked it to write lyrics, so it, it writes like a like a like a seventh grader writing poetry. Yeah, like you know, it's very Shakespeare. What's the what's the like and, and, A-B-A-B-A-B-A-B. A-B-A-B-A-B-A-B. No, there's a uh, what's the name of it? There's iambic pentameter. Iambic pentameter. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. That, yeah. It's it's very much like that, and you could tell it, it felt like somebody that just learned, which is really interesting to me. Like. When you learn poetry, that's you're in school. They're like, you know, this is iambic pentameter. This is how you do it. So then you write it in that cadence, and that's what AI is doing now. Yeah. So like, it's in its infancy of learning. So maybe eventually it'll get there. But as we talked about we last talked about night, this, yeah. AI is starting to cannibalize itself. Have you heard about that? No. Yeah. It's like AI art specifically will you because what it does is it scours the internet for information. So now now that there's already AI art out there, new AI art is seeing that other AI art. And it's taking from that artificial art and creating the new. So it's starting to like, it's going to get stuck in a loop eventually. It's eventually just going to be a banana on the wall, just like fucking Banksy. Yeah, yeah that's gonna eventually say, what it's going to have be to again. simplify. Otherwise, it's just because it's looking now. AI is not just looking at actual sources, and now it's looking at other sources of AI. So it's a bastardization yeah. of a bastardization of a bastardization. Yeah. So it's really interesting to see how now. As far as the other thing I was talking about, though. With like writing like words, poetry, essays, whatever. Yeah. That's I think is only going to get smarter. Oh yeah. But AI art, I don't think is going to go that far. Yeah. I don't know though. I mean, I... have you seen the new AI art? So basically, you you take a photo of yourself and then you highlight a portion and you say, uh, re- uh, make this trees and it'll put trees in it. And then you'll highlight mm-hmm. this portion. And it'll say change this to scrubs. Like you make yourself into like it. It re- literally uses a AI. tree person that's a nurse. Yeah, yeah. You could even do that. Like a tree. <laughs> tree well, doctor. it'll be like a nurse. Like you would take like a person who's at a stadium and remove all the people and put trees and mm-hmm. then and then t- take their like c- Cubs outfit and turn it into scrubs. And you literally take you and put you. And one person did it like in a hospital. They're like, hey. Um, I'm gonna call in sick to work, and so they took a picture of themselves mm-hmm. like this, and then they put like a hospital gown, and they put like a hospital See, bed. That's and brilliant. They, I'm all exactly. for that. Exactly, <laughs> that's cool as hell. But I'm saying people are people are gonna be able to do this. That's where the AR AI art is going in the future is mm-hmm. is using it to like Photoshop. Yeah, because which is more important anyway, because it'll open up the avenue for people that have no skill. The, right? Yeah, the, the right. thing I do like about that specifically, like putting a different. Uh, different environments and things is the AI's like, cause there's even there's in, in Photoshop, there are AI scripts and things that will, yeah. so you can match lighting and stuff and make it look more like it's in the picture. And I think that's really cool. Like a really cool use of it, but yeah. AI art just generating from now I will say, so I do, I do all the designing for, uh, for dwarf and for our album cover. Yeah. I, I knew what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure exactly how to frame it. I, I showed this to you. Like yeah. I, so I used AI art to generate, I'm not gonna say what it is, but like to generate basically the scene that I had in my head, and then it and like I, I got like I ended up doing it like four or five times or something, so I got like 16 or 20 of different ideas, and I was like, okay, well I like the way this is framed here and this piece is framed here, so I put them together into one picture, and then I used that, and I drew over, I drew my to own, actually draw, I yeah. drew my own the own art, but I used that as a guide to where the framing is because I wasn't trying to frame it. And I think so that's it's cool the how right way to do it, it because of, you're using uh, AI as a tool, not a using tool. it as the product. It's because right. every every time I would try to frame different things, it just wouldn't look right. And I was like, what do I want to do here? And it's But it's it's the same thing in my mind. It's just like scouring for hours looking at other inspiration art, but the AI will do that for me yeah. and then put it together. So I'm like, okay, I like this framing, but then I'm going to do my own art over it. It's not like I just said, hey, make me an album cover and it created it. Yeah, yeah, you didn't do that. Plus and my fingers, you'd, I would have like eight fingers and weird teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like, always the weirdest it's shit. It's getting too. better though. It is getting better. But I like you using it as almost like a like a rough yeah. out. It's like yeah. an outline. It's I use not it as a tool. It's yeah. a product. Well, and that's what I, that's what we were trying to do with the lyrics. Like to like when you said you were trying to write get it to write a joke, I thought maybe you could write lyrics, but I wanted to make funny lyrics because you know, that's what we do. Right. And it doesn't do humor very well. Okay. The I do lyrics, have a question though about that. So if you put in a joke you wrote, here's a joke I wrote, can you give me a Four more tags. Uh, I did not try that. That would that would be cool interesting. If it did that, but I didn't try that. And honestly, I would feel like I would never have used the joke. I just did it as an experiment. Mm-hmm. Oh but no! Like, but that's what I'm saying. In this case, you're taking your original joke, right? Put it in there and saying, "I can't think of any other tags." I still wouldn't this. feel comfortable. No, using for tags. It. Yeah, I wouldn't feel. So comfortable if a person told you a tag, you'd be cool with it though. Because they're like, "Hey, I thought it was if tag a for friend that. of mine, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, totally." AI is our friend. 
I, I feel like I, I know like, what you mean though. It feels it feels cheap. Joke yeah, if it, it feels it feels hacky. It feels, it feels like you went R one R one L two R one. It can be hack if it's never been done before. You can't you can't say that because hack hack is like where you're doing something everybody does. Okay, I wouldn't feel authentic. There you go. I like that. That's a better way to say it. That's exactly what I was thinking because like yeah, I was the same way when I used that art to set up the thing. It's not like I'm using something else and just using the framing of something that's already created. Yeah, it's created by AI. But I see what you're saying. Like it makes. Yeah, like we didn't use, we ended up using the lyrics that we made up, but right. I just want to see what it would do. That yeah. being said, that led me to something else that I'm very passionate about. I want yeah. to mention. Yeah. If you love stand up comedy and you want to try it, great. If you think it's okay to do somebody else's mm. jokes Ooh. at yeah, a stand up comedy open mic, it is not. Please do not do that. Yeah, I go, whenever I go to an open mic, I say, listen, I'm using all Sean's jokes. <laughs> I'm like, uh, so I was uh, smoking with this. I'm, sm yeah. I'm smoking with this. Uh, uh, that's one of my favorite. Can you? What do you want to tell that one? Are you All right, yeah, that I, I can we tell that one. Joke. Yeah. Uh, I haven't told this joke in a long time, so yeah, I can yeah, tell I, this I joke. like this joke a lot. I want it on the uh, podcast. So, <laughs> I was smoking chick with this. Uh, I'm sorry. I was seeing this Mex Mexican girl ch recently, and I was really excited. She was super attractive. I thought things were going to go really well, um, but I fucked it up as usual. I asked her if she wanted to smoke any weed. I was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, I want to smoke weed. I was like, oh, yeah, you got any papers? She just took <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen from her again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I slaughtered my own. No, you're good. That's no, good. it's fine. It still it, makes sense. The punchline hit. That's yeah, right. Yeah, the punchline I think hit. I've heard you tell that one before. I love though, that But one. it was it still got me. So. Yeah, I don't do it. I, I, it's not like up in the front of the mm -hmm. brain because I don't do it much yeah, anymore. Yeah. It's good, though. It's, it's, all all it matters is the punchline. Which is even better because that means you guys can still go see Sean and see a whole new act. I, you know, I didn't ruin a joke. Yeah, yeah. Act, so. but I love one. that joke. I just, I always love that papers. Oh, shit. She left. Like, <laughs> I did the, the image of her just running away. That, yeah, that, that, I, it, it, it paints a picture. <laughs> thinking of it as, as a skit would be hilarious as well. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It could be a skit. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, wait, wait, one thing we all have in common, other than courting, um, is we did the the uh, <laughs> the. Uh, you have penises. Yes, that's well. How do you know? You don't that know I what don't? we have, dude. Why are you? Why are you gendering us? I think dude? me and Jordan both know that you don't. Yeah, at don't. least. Yeah, I don't know about him. Maybe gender is fluid. Yeah. Courtney. Yeah. yeah, there's lots of fluid. There's lots of fluid involved. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> but we did we did the uh, COVID police sketch together. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. really fun, man. That I was, love it. That was good. I love doing that. It was a really good time. Yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, it was it was a very interesting experience, and I think like quality wise, it was probably like it turned top out so notch, good, yeah. dude. It was fucking so good. I want to do. I want to film more stuff like that. I love acting. To the people that make make stuff here in Kokomo. Yeah. I'm always available. Hey, we I love acting. We have like four projects coming up though. Yeah. We had to yeah. Them. yeah. Yeah, you would definitely like we'll definitely bring you in to some movies stuff. and short films. Especially we're gonna need a lot of people just mm -hmm. involved, you know, small small. And I like funny people, too. so it works. Yeah. <laughs> funny yeah. people are way better than dramatic people. I did want to bring this up. We do have oh, I do want to talk a little bit about marijuambies because you know, as oh. as you guys know, Brian Allen West is gonna be a marijuambi. I, I love that picture of him. He looks so like he, he just, looks serious, right? It, it just doesn't look like Brian. He's just like <laughs> it's like he's I don't know. It's, I love how so your hair feathers in this i know it's because yeah. i did a lot of like weird editing to it just to try to make it look wild it's like glowing but yeah. there's uh this is me i'm gonna Danger. be in marijuambies and then uh we've got recently we found out that uh, jordan bell aka pick up jones is gonna be in it and yeah. maddie crow yeah. i'm still waiting to hear a certain name called because i know another person in this room is going to be in it but i'm not allowed to say it till it's out there <laughs> yes who you which maybe <laughs> He's playing a big. I read mama. the script, by the way, and it's fucking. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm so excited. I'm everybody, happy you read it. Everybody needs to like when this movie comes out. It's gonna be so funny. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not all. I like. I read it and I literally laughed out loud like four or five times. Just, yeah. Like it just reading the most it. reading. Not yeah. even on the screen. I'm like, once it's on the screen, it's gonna be so funny. And I'm like, I'm super excited to to be a part of it. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Uh, it's gonna be some really it's it's gonna be really funny. Like the mm -hmm. concept. Like I was lucky enough to have Maddie explain a little bit to me because he actually has the full script because he asked for it and I didn't because I'm just <laughs> yeah. like oh, I'll figure it out when I get there. Um, but uh, yeah, I was like looking at it and I'm like, hey, this is actually pretty cool. Like I yeah. like the concept. And then Maddie explained more of it because I didn't read the whole. Thing. There's a lot of good stuff in it. It's 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 gonna be really really good. You know, and it's. Uh, we already know Brian Foster knows how to, you know, knows how oh, to do yeah. stuff. Like I didn't know about his writing though. Like I mean, obviously he he's direct and he does he's directing and he does the camera work and all. But that normally Kane and Kane and yeah. Uh, Black so, do all but he writing. he's writing and directing this and yeah. uh, and starring actually. Yeah. So That's I was like great. just reading through it and I was like, man, this dude can write. Like it's it's 
it, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Gonna, there's actually like the the arcs and everything. The whole story, the pacing is just like it's going to be really good. I think it's I'm I'm like so excited to start it. I told him because he asked me for what I thought or whatever, and I, I, I the first thing I said was I I need to watch this movie. I wish it was out now. Yeah, I yeah. just want to watch the movie. Like yeah. even though I'm a part of it, I just want to watch it because it sounds like it's going to be a fun time. So. <laughs> and you said it's got plenty of pages. So usually yeah. as a good rule of thumb with like scripts is it's like a minute per page. Mm -hmm. So when you're writing it, and he said it's enough pages, that's going to be it's going to be a feature full length. feature length, yeah, which yeah. is great. Because we did our movie. ours ended up only being like mini 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 series. 27 movie. minutes with yeah. credits. <laughs> yeah, with credits, yeah. I'd like throw but them on there. Also, it was, also it was short. In, it was shot in four days. Yeah. About four or five hours per day. It was supposed to be day, a one-day thing. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we got really uh, still was kind of <laughs> in-depth with it. But Again, yeah. that speaks to, you know, if we didn't have to have jobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we had the time, we'd be... Because like I said, we have four more projects we're working on, and like we would already be working on them. If and we, I'm, if I'm writing that show as well. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Yeah. So I'm writing a show with the placement title of the comic uh it doesn't really have and i don't want to give too much away no, here don't give just too much. just that i would love to have you know other people involved i'm about halfway done with the first episode yeah um once you get the script done you said you're gonna send it to me i want to look at it yeah I and uh will. brian agreed to look at it and help i don't trust brian as well. brian dude just kidding <laughs> love you brian he's not doing too well right now they found out he's got his blood test back he's gay 100 oh, percent. full blown gay full so blown he's, gay. In I mean, I he's in the that. icu yeah. <laughs> He's in the. Uh, it was suspected he before. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the, actually the ICUP. The ICUP. I, I, have, I hit my. my ICP. I hit my daughter with the I cup recently. I was like, "Will you spell I cup?" And she was like, "I C U P." And I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> got her so good. It's the new sect of the of ICP. It's I C U P. I C The insane clown unified posse. You yeah, were talking about COVID police. My favorite Brian moment is that when he huffs the cleaners. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, in yeah. the back like a fucking idiot. I, I had so, I had so much fun editing that because like the way the. The way the, the shots came out, they were just so funny, and it's just like it's so it's so stupid. <laughs> but I, I laughed the whole time I was at it. I was just laughing. Like I saw this clip five times, and I still. Laugh I, at I it. honestly like, think I'm. I, I was never more happy of a project. I mean, obviously the journey one. I also I adore that yeah. one as well. But I was never more happy of a of a product that was like a skit from from mm -hmm. the start to finish, just because like even the small jokes hit. Like the yeah. four oh nine. We got a code four oh nine. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. <laughs> I love it. Hey, you're supposed to be on my side. What are you? <laughs> Every joke hit, and I mean, yeah. it was just it hit so hard. I'm like, man. Yeah, I, anybody that's not I watched it, go check it out. COVID yeah, police. COVID police. It's on our YouTube channel, Kokomo Press YouTube. Yeah, it was fun. Was check it fun. out. It's very good stuff, man. We've done so many good things. Sean's done. I mean, that's that's not the only thing you've done. That's right. Have we done more skits? Uh, I did the uh, when I first started comedy. Actually, the first time I ever met you and Brian was a skit uh, outside. Little Daddies? Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. yeah. That was a fun mm, one. Yeah. We did that for Not Necessarily. That's that's one mm. that, I, that we got yeah, into like 50,000 shares for that. That's about 000. it. I mean, I am one of the most, uh, I've had the most guest spots on this podcast Almost. tied with Maddie. Yeah. yeah. You guys. I didn't even know that stat until that's, that's cool. It's a fun, it's fun because uh, it gives it a good feel. Uh, I'm glad we're both I mean, on it together. That's cool. I, I yeah. kind of consider us as like, it, like if we we could be in Kokomo Press, but we're just right. We're <laughs> yeah. unofficial members. Yeah, yeah. For uh, sure. You guys are all like that's that's like with, with Scrap. Scrap's yeah. one of those people. He does the weekly plug, and like uh, we've got a lot of people. We want we're gonna definitely keep it at four. Like we talked a long time ago about like we're just staying here. If anything, we'd lose. Oh members. yeah, no, no, I'm not. If anything, we'd lose members. If I help, I'm always behind the scenes. We'd, so we'd cool. say, listen, we don't. We if one of us transitions, we're she's out. She's, she's out. out, dude. <laughs> if we can get a trans woman, she's out, dude. Just kidding. So we, do we need a duel to the death? I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. I think what he just we said is we need to dress and drag. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody needs Can to I just show up in blackface? Is that, is that, is that enough diversity? <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> blackface and drag. Yeah. I'm actually going to add Jay Farrow uh, <laughs> to the Kokomo Press. <laughs> no. I, I, we talked about it a while back because we were, we were thinking about adding more members because we had a whole, the four of us had but a whole Courtney's discussion. But a bitch, so no. But what? But I'm a bitch, so I won't like. Yeah, she, she's she's one of the. I think it, I think it's better to have the four main members, and then you yeah, have other people that great. obviously that, yeah. that you know that help out. And that's stuff. what we were talking about. Courtney messaged me and was like, "You guys should just do like a podcast network." And I'm like, "That's kind of what we're doing, just not necessarily yeah. podcasts, but like not shows." Necessarily. <laughs> yeah, we're well, not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily podcast that. news. I mean, I you know I have that idea for a podcast. I think would be great. Yeah. Um, but. I'd like to do, like, I don't know. I, I miss being on a podcast. Me and Courtney used to be mm -hmm. co-hosts yeah. of a different podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't say very much when you were on there, but you were on one. 
Uh, yeah, See, I was very, we were both very new we, at it. We were the ones that got in trouble for not so, talking, though. Yeah, yeah. And then when I'd start talking, I'd get in trouble so we for should... talking too much. <laughs> kind of yeah, like that. It's about every day. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, yeah. like now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I want you to you talk. Better, <laughs> you better. <No. laughs> sometimes, sometimes I need to talk more. Sometimes you tell me I need to shut up. Well, see, no, it's interesting just, because you, you want to make it start a podcast network and you're talking about starting a podcast. I'm also starting talking about maybe starting a podcast with wow. my. Wow. That's, that's more brand new news. Uh, my dwarf with brothers, the band members? With yeah. Dwarf, yeah. We've got that's both a, people starting a podcast. So, yeah, we'll all. I'm going to start my own. I'm podcast. always available, man. I've been so. trying to get your show well, started. I, 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 don't know, you. I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. We're, it's still in its infancy of ideas. Like, I don't know if we're going to do like a, a guest thing. Maybe, you know, com- comedians, you know, they're funny. Obviously, we have you guys on, but, you know. But yeah. it's basically just going to be like just us talking shit. Because yeah. that's what we do anyway. And I'm like, let's just fucking yeah. record what we do. We get Why together don't you for just practice. record you yeah. at practice. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We, they show up for practice and we sit for an hour and just <laughs> talk about bullshit. And it's always so funny. Like, I end up like hurting from laughing so hard before we even get to practicing and it's like we just smoke it a bunch of weed and so talk easy. shit and that's it's why fun. i'm like yeah like i have the i already have the stuff i'm just yeah, like yeah. I, mean, I don't have this cameras. nice of a setup but you know that's why I'm but that's why that's why we would be under the umbrella of kokomo press and you yeah. guys could just use a regular i mean i've seen people like uh matt and shane secret podcast just use sm58s like or, yeah. yeah they just yeah. use sm58s so i mean different. i've got a i've got an sm7 and you got sm but do you you don't have anything i also have a mic hold on no uh jesse has has a couple, right? Yeah, Jesse's got a nice one too, and I've got a couple of nice. Content. Like, we'll figure it out. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know what we're gonna. It's probably gonna be this winter, honestly. Like, once stuff slows down and we're not work on the album and stuff. Yeah, with the album Harvest Fest. But I we mean, just we're just like we just fucking we we always talk shit anyway. But yeah, it would be cool to do like a whole podcast network thing and cross promote and everything yeah. else. And you know, yeah. You know, as, as our stuff. page gets bigger, like uh, this was supposed to be. We were full disclosure. We were supposed to do the finale today, but I was actually an episode short, so mm-hmm. I was trying to get something working so we could do another episode. And then Brian got sick, and I was like, "What well, fuck? This gives me." another week i can you know we'll we'll have some more people on that i actually like and we'll hang out and we'll do so and that's nothing against anybody that i haven't had a pat on i love them too yeah, i just you know, I, and any time you ask I'm, I'm totally down it's fun like you said we're just yeah you hit me up the shit you hit me up and you were already in you didn't even know it but we'd already talked about having you <laughs> you didn't even know it he was like hey man i'm always free and i was like i was like that's literally the first thing brian said was like hey when he was like you should have sean because he's doing indie's funniest so let me let me bring that up one more time because we definitely need to promote indie's that. funniest helium comedy club july 18th seven o'clock i actually have some free tickets available but if you aren't on my first 10 people to get free tickets i only have like one left yeah. um, <laughs> you can call helium comedy club yeah. anytime the day before is the cutoff mention my name 50 percent off the tickets and it's an indie so it's actually down it's kind of by circle center right uh, it, it's downtown indy it's uh, about two blocks away from uh the pacers Thing I fear it changes Game name Bridge, so Market Market Square Square Game Bridge, Game Bridge, yeah. <laughs> Market Square, Game Bridge Arena, Fieldhouse, yeah, Conseco Fieldhouse, yeah, Conseco. I saw uh, Kid Rock. No, I actually saw this down there. I was going to bring this up because you know we were talking a little bit about indie. Let me see. There it is. Did you guys see what they're doing down at Mon- Monument Circle? They're going to go carless. That's interesting, Courtney, isn't it? Yeah. Carlos, Square Arena. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, really? Texting. No, they're gonna basically turn this into just like a, a, a town square with like you know plants and <sighs> and everything. I'm actually really excited about it. What do you? I what's, mean, what's I your think opinion? it's great. I think it's great to have like a big common area, kind of like it's kind of like our Central Park. Yeah. Um, but it it I'm just thinking about like driving I'm, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm like i mean i, I go down there a lot yeah. <laughs> so like are they gonna yeah. add more parking because i mean uh, they have a shit ton of parking in there right yeah I, guess. Yeah. yeah I think this is more for like they can do like huge like city events down there they can yeah. do like not huge but like a small events and That's like pretty cool I, I think cities the fact that cities aren't as walkable as they should be is the problem in the first place mm-hmm. like the yeah. fact that you can't just uh, the good thing about kokomo is we're not busy enough that like it doesn't really matter downtown you can still walk it but i think what i like the most of uh, what we all enjoyed a lot of the haynes apperson was downtown is you could just walk downtown mm-hmm. and be like oh i didn't fucking know we had that business there what the hell yeah like that's how i felt the entire time during the strawberry festival i was like right. oh when did we get oh, a oh yes. i saw you at the strawberry festival festival yeah you know <laughs> that was a fun time right did yeah, you yeah. did you get some of the uh shortcake and stuff oh yeah that's it's delicious we go down there it was very hot the day i went oh, yeah. so we went down got some strawberry shortcake did a lap you know saw yeah. if there's anything and 
the kids were just like complaining about being hot. I was like, all right, well, we'll get our shortcake to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we sat down in the shade and ate. That's the first thing we did because I was like, I know we got to do that. And yeah. then from there, we'll walk around. We walked around, and then Shelby and I and, and I ended up getting like a. Uh, uh, they had like strawberry mimosas at uh, the coterie, and so we just walked around. That's awesome. They have run out of those right before we got there. Yeah, the strawberry burgers and stuff. I got to stuff. have one. I got to have one. Yeah, you didn't get to have a strawberry. They killed it. That strawberry mimosa was really good. The coterie always no, does a good job. I got the strawberry job. mimosa. It was not good. Mine wasn't good. Oh, did you I know? Fr- I had to give it to Jessica. A friend of ours. Uh, what the? I, you oh, just, didn't get the burger. Sorry, I'm getting whiplash from going back and forth based on what <laughs> I'm she's sorry, doing. I'm a woman. <laughs> you didn't get the burger. Okay, that's what it was. What are you saying, Sean? A friend of ours is. Uh, he runs open mic night at Crackers Comedy Club. Jerry Goebel runs. Oh, oh I love open Jerry. Mic yeah, night. Jerry's great. Yeah. So if you Thursday night Crackers downtown Indianapolis. Yeah. Are black people out there? <laughs> <laughs> they very much are. Okay, I just want to make sure before I might want to bring a black friend with me, and I just want to make sure <laughs> it's not crackers only. <laughs> okay, my bad. My bad. <laughs> crackers only. Yeah. It's called only crackers. Well, I just feel like I wouldn't be very comfortable if I was a black man. That's what it was called way. before the civil rights movement. <laughs> yeah. It's crackers only. No, we just shortened it to crackers. No one's and, and there's Nobody a lot know. of paintings on the wall of Charlie Chaplin. It's not Adolf Hitler's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, <laughs> same guy, same guy. Yeah. yeah, and then you're like, they're like, hey, yeah, we actually have some some footage of Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> 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 That's why he was time. a silent star. Yeah, he was silent. Like, we, let's just let's just shut him up. And it'll be funny. Did he marry like a fourteen-year-old? Didn't Probably. Charlie have to marry a fourteen? Didn't they all? Yeah. Hey, that was it was before consent matters. <laughs> so. Man, we missed all the good times. I'm just kidding. That's horrible. Just oh Jesus! Just joking. <laughs> all the good times went away. Does you consent know? still matter? Is that what Trump meant by "Make America Great Again"? Consent matters. You just didn't have to ask for it before, apparently. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> do people have implied. to ask for it? I, I think it was implied. I've had plenty of people not. Is that is that this picture that you anyway. that you this that that you, we talked about this already? But this is where that is. Yeah, that's Where's Crackers at? Is it a- uh, it's in Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm bad at like road locations. Games. I can get places, it's, but I. Do you know like, what's that, Manny? It's by Broad Ripple. Okay, bro, I, I thought yeah. so. That's the one. No, no, no the one in Broad Ripple is closed down. This oh, is shit. like in downtown Indianapolis. Oh, it's oh, it another is. Crackers? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. like They're the original. Then, I don't know. The crackers are spreading, man. Last time I went to, I, I haven't been to crackers it's in many years. The original. Years. I actually saw okay. some, uh, like crackers are spreading. I have some pictures on my phone from when I did open mic there this Thursday. I'll be back in two weeks mm. if anybody wants to see. But open uh, mic. I'm getting ready to start. I've been working. I've been writing a lot lately, and I need to get on stage. I don't. I is it? Let me ask you a real question here. This is some. This is some insider comedy stuff. Hey. Is it like a friendly? Hey. Uh, open mic. What? It's at 207 North Delaware Street, Indianapolis. Hell yeah. Oh, thank you. Delaware. There you go. Okay, yeah, it so is it's like right close, downtown. Closer to downtown then. Yeah. yeah see, I, I didn't even know that there were multiple crackers. Like, yeah. I didn't know there were multiple. Th- the there only one I've been to. They might have just either. moved. The only one I've been to is the one in Broad the, Ripple. It the was Broad Ripple ago, closed so. down. But no, that one's been around for years and hmm, years. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it's on the second floor. Like, the bottom floor is an Indian restaurant. The second floor is the comedy club. Um, but I saw I bet pictures it of crazy some, in there. Oh yeah, I bet it smelled crazy in there. You <laughs> some know of I saw pictures of some of my like favorite comics. I saw a picture of Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, uh, I love Tony. Yeah, Bobby Lee. Yeah, uh, why did you put them two together? I don't think that was fair. That's not fair to. <laughs> that's to not fair. Bobby Lee, you can't bring up an Asian or after you say Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> he got in big trouble. Do you remember yeah, that? He did. Yeah. He did. He said the ch word. Yeah, he did. Cracker. I'm just kidding. If we can say Cracker, it's okay. No, Tony Hinchcliffe, he does t- Kill Tony, you you and he that. does with uh, Red Band. Yeah, and he's and on Jerry a lot. JRE. Yeah. He used to open for Joe Rogan all the time yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And he's a vegan. I, I don't know. Is he still a vegan? <laughs> what an idiot. I'm I know. Just right? <laughs> <laughs> Dan Kearns is like, motherfucker. I mean, he does seem homosexual, so maybe he does eat meat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, heard, I heard he likes a certain type of meat. Yeah, wow. That's like all the jokes. <laughs> wow. Uh, who's your favorite re- reoccurring person on Kill Tony? Don't say David Lucas. Uh, I, I do kind of like David. I Lee. hate he but steals jokes. Hans Kim is my favorite. Yeah, Hans Kim's good. Yeah. He is he the one that passed away recently? Who's the guy that passed no. away recently? The he, handicap guy. I he can't really think good. of his name, but he's, he's uh, really he had ALS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was good. Uh, my my big problem with David Lucas is that they give him so much play on there, and he has been caught literally stealing jokes. Really, I like did not going know. on Twitter and taking jokes. Like he did a joke about uh, which joke was it? There was a specific joke he did about his kid asking his dad if it was hard. It was basically he was like he was like man, my, my and he uses a retarded word, so I'm gonna use it. But he says, yeah, my fucking youngest is retarded. I got three kids. My youngest is retarded man. She asked me. She said, uh, Dad, was it hard when you were working during slavery? 
He was like, bitch, I was born in 97. I don't for safe. It was something like that. But it was a joke that was literally written on Twitter way before he did it. And well, like, I mean, I just told you my stance on that. That's I know. Okay. I, I, oh, you're I, not allowed I, to like that guy anymore. No, <laughs> no I, I can't like not him. Not allowed. I, it was just funny because they do, they, they moved, uh, they used to be, so they moved it from L.A. to Austin, right, with, with Joe Rogan. They all moved down mm-hmm. there to Austin. And they were doing it at the Vulcan, which is a comedy club in in uh, in uh, Austin. And then once the Comedy Mothership, which is Joe Rogan's new – he has his own comedy club called the Comedy Mothership. They moved it there. And the question is like, okay, well, if you've got a guy in there who's stealing jokes, Joe Rogan, you're the most famous guy that calls out people stealing jokes. Why are you letting yeah. this guy come on your stage? Carlos Menstilia, David Lucas Menstilia as well. But – you know, it's that whole thing. I just my thing is like I don't. A lot of people get. Uh, I was there one night when Brian got accused of stealing jokes off mm-hmm. Google, and I'll tell you right now, I went through his entire Google history. A lot of scary shit. There was no <laughs> jokes, not a single joke. I I wasn't laughing at all. I mean, some of that stuff I was like, this is brutal, Brian. This is brutal. And it was all his own stuff. He just watches himself his butthole just that get makes sense. fucking ram, dude. Why is Why is he on Google? I don't know why he always goes on Google to look up his own porn, but he does. Yeah. I think he, he just wants to know what they're saying about him. You know what I mean? Oh, he likes the yeah. comments. Yeah. yeah. I Google myself quite often. I've Googled. I, have you ever Googled yourself? Have you yeah, Googled I, yourself? I don't Google myself to look for my own porn. No. Oh. Oh. You can just look on your phone. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't I have porn. But Brian doesn't actually own really the rights to his porn. He's the one getting, like, what do they call those, like, destroyed. Like, he's, a, he's the guy getting destroyed in the mm. video, so... Mm. Nice. Hope you love this episode, Brian. It was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Brian. I'm fishing for you, Brian, today, man. I'm fishing for you. We're sending out thoughts and prayers. We're sending out thoughts and prayers and throwing that fucking pole out there for you. It's actually how I met Brian. He was on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on lately, but, you know, I feel like Kokomo's getting destroyed. We don't have any more strip clubs. They're all gone. Do you guys see the Obsession nightclub mm-hmm. named after no. a Calvin Klein perfume? Mm-hmm. Obsession by Calvin Klein. That's where we're going for the death match. That's yeah. what it's called? Obsession, yeah. I, I, I feel obsession. like there's so many better names. It's called like, yes. Club Obsession. It's terrible. Yeah. It's club terrible. Obsession. Ew. That sounds dirty. Well, they're wanting to push it as like a nightclub. But it like, feels like it but they're booked, like a They booked club. like Trapped in there, and I'm like, what yeah. the hell's Are happening? we going to see Trapped? Fuck no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will go really to the we are going Gordon's to the death not. match there though. There's a How death big? match like next Shelby's like two weeks. There's a there's a two day death match going on. Oh yeah, I heard about this. Yeah. This is really cool. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh yeah, that, oh that's <laughs> not here. My bad. But this I, is what's pretty I interesting. I want to see that though. Yeah, Elon Musk sure. <laughs> and Mark Zuckerberg agree to fight each other in a cage match. And then I, I read this here. Uh, Dana White is confident he can make the fight between Elon mm-hmm. Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Or they have the worst names happen in yeah. the UFC. White says he spoke to both men last night and they are deadly serious about the fight. Can you imagine thinking who you got though? Like who? <sighs> I my feel thing like, is yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. Like I feel like it depends on. If it's like a street fight rules, I might go one way or the other. You know what I mean? If we're going off if there's the like jaw rules, line. I would. If we're going off jaw <laughs> line. Jaw line, 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 hundred percent. I feel like it's gonna look like sword fighting with. Not it's gonna look hilarious. Penises. It's gonna look like those two kids that got they got into a fight in a cafeteria that have never been in a fight in their life, and everybody's just crowding around, but nobody lands a punch. Like it's just. Well, that's be... the thing about Mark Zuckerberg is he's actually been fighting like competitively yeah, with I, BJJ. I just read that because yeah. uh, I I, wanted, I looked up because I wanted to see who would win. Yeah. So I looked it up and yeah, I found out, found out that he actually. But did Elon some is arts friends stuff. with Joe Rogan and all yeah. those guys, so I'm sure he does. I think he does BJJ too. So it'll well, be see, that's why I was saying before. I think I feel like with fair rules, Zuckerberg might take him. But if they were doing like street fight, Elon's probably dirtier. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's probably a dirty fighter. <laughs> South African rules. Yeah, exactly. You should just do wrestling and not like cage fighting. Like, Maybe a pro, 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 pro wrestling. Pro yeah. wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, then then you know then there'd be a predetermined. I think that's outcome. the picture. Yeah, that's the Elon point. But that would be point. It would be very. It would be very. He does look wild on that. <laughs> I think it, him. Yeah. Him at the uh, uh, him at the I think it's the gala right the Met Gala is yeah. that him it's and the that? Antichrist versus the alien yeah I'm pretty sure Zuckerberg's not from this world like he's so alien weird. versus predator <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly exactly yeah that took me a minute to process. Grimes was young yeah <laughs> Grimes was pretty young have you seen that you see, I'm sure you've seen that video of Zuckerberg like when when Facebook Live first started yeah and he was like grilling a steak yeah. or whatever a barbecue just grilling some meats and like just grilling the meats like everything he said is like, so weird I'm like people don't talk like that yeah like, just out here with some meats he's, do you remember like he, them like him a couple like a month later he was inside his house and like on he had a barbecue like a yeah. sweet baby Ray's just on like yeah. for no reason it was like books about like cool why we shit barbecues in here <laughs> yeah remember when I had that have it? <laughs> remember when I had it for but a while. if you think about it if you think about it back then. <laughs> 
that's when AI, you know, was still kind of in it. Maybe, maybe he's AI's just gotten better, so now his brain gets better because yeah. he's, he's an AI man. robot. Huh? I don't he's know. He's a lizard man. Well, if you look at the, if you saw these two like next to each other, just their faces, you would say Elon's going to win every day. Oh yeah. But then, because but then, if you look at Mark, he just seems like he'd be scrappy as fuck. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I he's... could see that. And see, I didn't know that he was into like the BG, BJJ stuff until uh, I looked up because I wanted to see if either of them knew how to fight. Yeah. You know. And then I was like, oh shit, he actually just has you know martial arts training and stuff. Two it's guys cool. into BJJ that look like they've never had a BJ yeah, I, in their life. I didn't see that Elon was. So that's yeah. interesting. Elon, it'll be interesting to see. You. Elon's much older, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know. And uh, uh, and Mark is much gayer. I'm just kidding. Mm, yeah. He is. He is kind of weird. He's got an Asian wife, right? Yeah. Tony Hinchcliffe's not around a lot near her. <laughs> okay, we're gonna say Tony oh, Hinchcliffe. You cannot interested. come near his wife. Stay away. <laughs> well, Tony Hinchcliffe yeah. got in trouble for that. So you think you, you think you said Elon? You think Elon would take him? I think, think uh, body wise, Elon's gonna... just bigger than him. Yeah. Like it's just the size and the their weight class. They have to be in like completely separate. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't I, I don't know, know what they weigh exactly, but I think yeah, there, there's definitely a weight class difference, but I don't think that's that's a much of an issue here with them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they really care. They just want to fight. They just want a billionaire on billionaire. You know, a couple. What they bills. should both do. They have so much money. They sh- they should just throw in like both of them throw in a million dollars and everybody bet on it, and then <laughs> I'd like know. to up it up to a billion. Yeah, they, they each, have each of them throw in a billion, put that in the pot, and then yeah, and then we'll all bet on you know rounds and stuff like that, and then. The winner just gets a share of it. Then, you know. Well, the joke was to have Elon. So Elon money. puts up Twitter. Mark oh, puts yeah, up Facebook, yeah. and they winner fight for all. winner take all for wow, social media that supremacy. Would be crazy. Yeah, and then they're just gonna throw in a random Chinese guy with Huawei or whatever the fuck that's called. <laughs> Don't they have a big one over there? They should do like a Fast and the Furious thing, and like Elon can put up SpaceX, and yeah. Zuckerberg can put up Facebook. Yeah, I think it'll work. I mean, but he's got Twitter, so he can yeah, do Facebook social media. Twitter. That's that's. Yeah. Yeah. No. I know you don't really like Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Twitter. It's because of all the twats. Uh, it's it's just. I don't know. I'm just. I've never loved it. Neither. I use it for like uh, news. That's all I, I like to go on there. I follow like certain like uh, mostly sports news. Like all this shit happened with the NBA draft recently. Was that's what I do. Right? For, that's how I follow. I get that on stuff. Instagram. Wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling and baseball. And baseball, yeah. yeah. That's why I use Twitter for. I know Twitter is really good for wrestling. I've heard. Mm-hmm. That's what Jor- Jordan's like obsessed with. Twitter well, it's now. cool because like the wrestlers are in kayfabe on their Twitter accounts, yeah. so they're in the comments of each other, like talking shit, like it's kayfabe, you know. Like, oh, that's cool. Staying in character, so that's cool. But yeah, there's a there's a very toxic side to Twitter, like for real. Like, oh yeah, I well, if I stay on Twitter too long, I get into certain threads, and I'm just like, what the hell am I looking at here? It's yeah. like crazy shit. And why but, am I hard? You know. Oh well, yeah, of course. But, the hard part about Twitter is you just be scrolling, and all of a sudden, oh, there's a butthole. I mean, yeah. just get right past that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm at work and I'm like, I, I get on Twitter like I'm fucking <laughs> trying to hide shit. I'm like, just in case. So that's that's how it is for me with Reddit because I spend a lot of time on Reddit <laughs> and I follow so many weird subreddits. I'm oh, just yeah. like, you know, it's just like the weirdest shit and like, uh, I'll just be scrolling and it's just, it's just, yeah, randomly like, like the Rule 34 Reddit. That one will pop up <laughs> just randomly and it's just, it's the most ridiculous character you would ever imagine getting that's fucked. That's my Facebook too. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. I don't yeah, know. your Facebook is, ha- your algorithm is fucking weird, Courtney. So I don't because like, you the I stuff it. you share is all like, like the funny the, the the weird thing about the stuff you share is it's all funny stuff that I wish you wrote for the page. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I didn't write any of that stuff. I know. I'm not steal steal it. It. I don't just it. modify it. I wanted it to be funny. To rephrase it. I, bet, I just want to make you funny. I just want to somehow like I wish. I'm sorry. I thought if you do dating Matt, would she is funny. Become funny. I know she funny, is, but, but she, she doesn't put it out. there. I know she just doesn't. She hides. I always tell her like she's she's like. I always had a crush on Aubrey Plaza, like forever, yeah. Yeah. and like she reminds me of her. Yeah, she had more confidence. It's you the big I mean? face. Well, maybe she does have the big cheeks. Her, but they her, both have, you have both but have her sense cheeks. of humor and her comedy is like that. Yeah. But Aubrey just has this like this standing confidence that she just delivers it, and it's really awkward and weird. But it's on purpose. With Courtney, I feel like you do that when you're doing when, when you don't have a camera on you, and you get a camera on you, and you're like, mm, I gotta watch what I say. You know, it's like you're you're way funnier. I'm than woke. You give credit for. I'm too woke for this. Definitely lean into it. Every time I see like an Aubrey Plaza clip of her being weird on a talk show, I'm like, this could be Courtney if she was more confident. I told an entire story about my butthole like five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, pretty cool. That's true. <laughs> I'm not saying be more open. I'm just saying with your humor in Can't general. wait to clip that out, you know? Yeah. Some clipping out all yeah. your butthole humor. That's fine. <laughs> my butthole. Plus, you can look at it on OnlyFans <laughs> for $500. Did you, guys, did you guys ever try this, uh, the Saweetie meal at McDonald's? No. 
What about the Travis Scott meal? Any of those? They got the new Grimace one. Okay, did you hear about the the newest one they have is actually the Lizzo meal. Oh, yeah. It's 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 hot dogs, 55 pots, 100 pots, 100 pots, 100 pizzas, 100 tenders, 100 meatballs, 100 coffees, 55 wings, 55 shakes, 55 can cakes, 55 pasta, 55 peppers, and 155 taters. You're going to get canceled. Lizzo is awesome. I'm so happy my daily meal will be part of the McDonald's. I mean, that chicken did kind of look like If you get me high, I could probably make a big dent in that. I know, right? That's also I think you should leave joke, by the way. He said I didn't have any. I think you should leave jokes on here. I was like, yes, I do. I fucking do. See, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't watched all that show. But yes, I, I do have a joke. I haven't watched the whole show, but I've seen that clip multiple times because yeah. it's, it's hilarious. It's so funny because he like tries to do a pay it forward thing, and then he's like, you know what? I'll pay it forward. And then he run, drives around so he can be the next person. He's like, 55 burgers, 55 fries. And he tries to order it, and then he gets caught. Yeah. And then the guy's like, he's I've trying to do a pay that. it forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, so that's from that, mo- that show. It's called I Think You Should Leave. You should check it out. It's you will love show. it. You're it's a stand-up. Fun. You like skits. You're gay. We love gay stuff. It's real here. weird. It's weird comedy, but that's <laughs> the best comedy. <laughs> the weird stuff. So I have a new character I've been working out. Matt's been oh really God. focused on this character. Uh, it's called a. Uh, it's called a uh, gay Italian Mike. <laughs> it's Italian Mike, just gay, but Brooklyn. Hey, it's me. I'm gay, like that. That's all it is. <laughs> hey, it's not really gay. You just have a penis fetish. Hey, don't. I, <laughs> I've been trying to work gay, accents into my stand up because I can do two accents yeah. pretty well. Which uh, accents? I have a Puerto Rican uncle named Hippolito Rodriguez, so I can do that. Okay, can we can wow. we slow that down? Wow, Hippolito. Hippolito Hip- Rodriguez. That is a cool. That should just been your stage name. So, <laughs> told it. That is such a cool name. That's a wrestler name if I ever heard so one. So he, uh, <laughs> like, uh, he would say things all the time that would make me laugh. So I would mock them as a child. Like one time, I went to the bathroom. He came out of the bathroom and he's like, "John, oh, <laughs> I just went to the bathroom and got them, got them, Chano. <laughs> <laughs> Chano, what the fuck, Chano?" It's just yeah. how he says hey, Shano. Shano, okay. Shano. Okay. That's Spanglish for Shano. Okay, I don't Chano. I don't speak Puerto Rican. <laughs> you know? That's right. And my other one is uh <laughs> my other one is uh, I like to pack my car, you know, me and uh and me and Ben and Affleck. Affleck. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a cop? Are you I'm a cop? Are you a cop? <laughs> <laughs> you have to do like a, mine's more Brooklyn, you know. No. More, hey I'm you just, pack your car. Your pocky car. That's the more. Do you guys see the? Do you guys see the, yeah, the khakis? You find your khakis. Yeah, I'm wearing them. Like, do you guys no, see no, the video no, where they're khakis. making fun of dudes from Baltimore? Earn, earn, earn. Oh yeah, earn. yeah. Earn, a, earn, and earn, earn, earn. Yeah. Earn, yeah. earn. Yeah. The other guy comes up. He says it the same way. And yeah, it's and like, he's like, so earn, earn, Aaron, earn, Aaron and earn, iron, earn, and it's like, earn, no, no, it's earn, 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 earn. This is stupid. I love that. I love shit like that. Like we have accents, but we don't. To us, it's just how we talk. You know, what I mean? but this Midwest twang, I guess it's a specific accent. Well, see, it's funny because like I worked for a call center, and yeah. they actually said they have one call center in Indianapolis and one in Salt Lake City, Utah, and they said they pick those two markets because we have the least accent of the yeah. entire country. So that way, it's easier to understand over the phone. Ours is the most because it's like every other one. Yeah, yeah you could, anybody can understand us, but you put a call center in you know the deep in Georgia. You know, there's going to be so many southern accents that people on the phone, it's going to be hard to make By out. By call center, you mean suicide hotline? <laughs> <laughs> no. Some days. Guitar center, actually. Some I days. work for them. So. Some days. I just work from home now. But they said they, they chose the geography because of the thing. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Salt Lake City makes sense because you have all those Mormons. If I was going to kill myself, I'd want to talk to somebody in Georgia. Yeah, because you think about it, because that, that so southern. So they could be backwards. I don't know. Southern if you like my southern grandma. <laughs> oh, sweetie, come on, sweet, come on. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love that accent, but over the phone, I can understand why it would be hard to understand sometimes. Same thing with like a north, like a mini Minnesota accent, you know, or you know, hey, don't, don't you know, know like, like a would Canadian, be or like a Brooklyn or a Boston, Boston. You got your cocky cocky. Could you just imagine calling him like, "Hi, hi, it's me, I'm yeah. from LA." Oh my God, <laughs> but, you just don't get it. I mean, I understand you have problems that's, out there. That's San Francisco. Are you doing a Shane <laughs> Dawson accent? Shane Dawson. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> YouTuber. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't. I. I just. To me, it's like all these different accents are just turned. You just got to dial them up to eleven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I, I don't, don't. Do I have to do any accents on stage? I don't even know if I do any accents on stage. I do them on podcasts all the time. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. Because they will cancel you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're motherfucking white. Don't yeah. you do accents because you're white? That's something like that. Accents are funny though. Yeah, they're like caricatures. Like yeah. they're funny. Yeah, they're, yeah. But I mean, there's people that are gonna be like, "That's racist." Yeah, it's always. I, that. I always say no. It's not racist. It's racial. There's a yeah. difference. <laughs> My life is boring. That thing you did, that art you created, mm. 
yeah. it's racist. I'm yeah. not gonna make uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna make fun of that. I'm yeah. just I'm, make, I'm making light of it. It's like, uh, <laughs> oh, see that's that's it. the one where you get in trouble. <laughs> that might be a little much. Oh, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, Subaru. Sean's like I'm rethinking the going on this podcast. I'm getting indie work, and you guys are that's when he gets racist. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, I, I feel like the difference is if you if you do an accent. Last time you were on here, you were racist against Koreans. No, 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 no. He wasn't. What, yes, why he was, was I? I don't even remember. I don't that. remember. Okay, stop. Because there was a guy in high school. Oh who yeah, didn't Stephen like Stephen Stephen yeah, Stephen Hahn. Stephen Hahn. That was a joke. It, the whole thing was a joke. We, we're, we're cool now, but he didn't sound like that. He sounded he sounded normal. Yeah. No, <laughs> he terrible. sounded normal. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like it's it's if you do an accent of another person that's white. Yeah, then it's it's not as bad. But when you do it of another of a person of another race, that's when it starts to feel like you. If you man, do, what the fuck you talking about, bro? You coming at me right now? Are you doing an Irish accent right now? Yeah, it's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what are you talking about? But I feel like if you do an Irish an Irish accent or it's almost, it's almost Scottish, but yeah. if you do that, it's not as bad as if you do. Oh, oh, like, oh, oh, that makes it way way worse. Which is which is hilarious because by like per capita, they actually make more money in America. That's it's not punching down. That would be punching up. That would be the equivalent of black people doing a oh it's me white guy oh god oh gee well, lookers yeah. <laughs> like to us like Indians and Asians actually make more money in the United States than white people do. Yeah. So technically. They're a higher class than we. We should be able to punch up. So I should be able to do. Oh, me, Joe Bishi. Hondo, Hondo. I'm gonna go. It's, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. She's so mad. She's like, I'm gonna get me out of here. I don't want to get canceled. I don't want to get canceled. Oh my god, I'm too hot. <laughs> to get canceled. I don't know. You mean like temperature, right? Yeah. Hey. It's pretty warm in here. I don't know why it's, you're still wearing it is that very jacket. Warm. I'm like. It gets worse. I'm about to pass out. I'm so hot. I've definitely it's got okay. swamp ass Jordan. Oh yeah, it's a hot in here. I'm wearing a jacket. I'm good. I'm really <laughs> glad that I sit in my own chair. It's a good thing you've been you've been fishing, so you know. Feels nice to you. You've been out in the humidity. Wakanda forever. How about that? Oh, God. <laughs> See, now it's bad again because that's, you know, it all depends on the it's race a fake of place, the, guys. Of, that's not a real place. Just do accents of other white people. Hey, no, no, this, like this, if you do a southern accent, but that's not, it's like, going to be a Tennessee accent. It's not a real accent. place. You're allowed to do accents about Make not real places, white people. Right? I like your Tennessee accent, but it has to be like the. The deep one. You like it when I talk yeah. like this, girl. <laughs> <laughs> the journey voice. You're all right, girl. I just want him to talk to me like journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you, if you were like the American superhero, and I could be like, do the whole like, hello, get you in here, like, do some type of Asian accent. <laughs> it's me, Shang Chi. <laughs> oh, Jordan. What? Uh, Please stop. I saw you. Hey, hey, he's the host. I, I am very sorry. This just, means we, this just means we can follow suit, and he's the one that gets canceled. I'm very sorry for you, Courtney. <laughs> I, uh, I dishonor my family by doing you, this to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not you know, you, you've commented on like everything made, and that is on Disney Plus in the last year. They're going to yeah. cancel your subscription, buddy. Oh, oh no! <laughs> this bullshit. Oh. <laughs> Gotta put an O at the end of it for no reason. It's a bullshit. It's me, Joe Toyota. Honda. No, it's just something like that. No, we're gonna, we gotta, you gotta be able to do accents because, I mean, it's, it's super important. Like, what's the dude from uh, uh, Hank Azaria? You know, remember he got in trouble oh, yeah, for, for yeah. doing He's just, he's in that new movie, uh, that new TV show, The Idol. Have you guys watched that yet? No. Mm-hmm. Don't watch it with your kids. Seriously, I've, I've seen mistake. some clips. It just hits the whole time on Reddit. Yeah, that's why Johnny Depp's it. daughter's in it. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. She was awkward as hell. Yeah, she looked weird. Like she didn't like. And then uh, the weekend. It made me feel weird. And then Hank is Yeah, she was in the scene with the weekend. That's where I saw it because yeah. I was like, oh, the weekend's in a show, and like, what the hell is happening here? It's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah this Johnny just comes Depp's out on daughter's Monday. boobs. Yeah. Oh, oh, the whole time. She's basically naked yeah. the whole show. Well, it's I follow the, one of the subreddits I follow. This is one of the ones that pops up when I'm scrolling. Is yeah. it's called Watch It for the Plot, and it's all. Just sex scenes from movies, TV shows, and everything else yeah. like that. And there's another one that's called Extra Mile, and it's people that actually had sex on screen that aren't porn stars, but they had real sex or whatever. And they're like, so I'll be just be scrolling. I just see that kind of stuff. That's where I've seen. I've probably seen three or four clips just from that show, and I've never watched the show. I'm just imagining that like one of the guys is like, "We should actually do it." And she's like, "Into it," and, he, and then he's just horrible. Like yeah. it's just a horrible lay, and you're on camera. And he's just like, he's like, "Okay." Well, it's, it's they're like into it, and he goes, "Oh." For some reason, it's it's, like, it's, it's interesting like, to me, like the psychology behind it. Yeah, it's yeah, like because yeah. I mean, a lot of them are like dating and stuff, but then some of them, it's like, how do you have that conversation? Like, do you really want you just want to do it? Well, that Aubrey, it? that Aubrey Plaza story about her. Did you hear about like there's a part in the script where like she's in a she's in a show and they're like, yeah, you have to self self stimulate. And, oh yeah, I've seen that clip. And they're yeah, and, and she was like, well, <laughs> what do I do? And they're like, well, do what the script says. You have to be masturbate. And she's yeah. like, no, but like, what do I? And he's like, yeah, the script says to ma- you have to masturbate. She like, killed it in that role. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like you know whatever at the end of the day. But it's like 
there's a, that blurred line, you know, as yeah. Robin Thicke would say. It's super weird. Like, uh, the reason I found that originally was a movie called The Brown Bunny. Have you heard of this movie? No, but it sounds fascinating. So, yeah, Vincent Gallo is the guy's name. And this dude is ridiculous. So yeah. this this is actually a funny, a funny topic to bring up here to talk about. So the guy's name is Vincent Gallo. He's like a... He's known for, like, he had another movie called, like, Buffalo 66. And it's, like, a terrible, like, artsy-fartsy indie movie. And apparently it's really bad. I've never seen that one. I did see The Brown Bunny, though. That was the first clip that I ever saw. And it's, uh, he was the director, writer, and everything, and he was the main star. Well, in the movie, there is a scene of fellatio, like, straight up. And it was Ch- Chloe Sever... Sauvignet. Yeah, Sauvignet. Sauvignet. That chick. I've heard of the story, yeah. Yeah, she's actually sucking his dick on the, in the movie. And he's the director. He's the director. That's the problem. And it's so it. weird. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to write this movie and direct it, and it's you have so to suck my long. dick on it. Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Isn't the scene, like, super long? It is. It's long and uncomfortable and well, weird as hell. Yeah. And I mean, you don't yeah. just start. And he did, and you can see it, like, finishing in her mouth. It's a fucking... It's so weird, but it's a mainstream movie. Yeah, that's yeah. the craziest thing, and that's what got me... Well, the Blue Lagoon had that same issue, right? With, well, they were underage, too. Yeah, that's what well, she was. They were, like, 15 or he, something. She, she was 14, and he was, like, yeah. 17 or 18. Yeah. But that... He, that was before that was the director. <laughs> well, that was the director, as yeah. well, like, kind of pushing for, yeah. like, that... The, that. He was, the, like, playing, playing like, like, her... her like, playing scenes of her... To him in his yeah. sleep to try to get him to dream about her. It was just yeah, and they were playing that cousins whole thing's and that. weird as hell. Yeah. But I saw that movie as a young. That's kid. way worse than doing an accent. In my and it was weird. Like <laughs> people get mad over a freaking accent. I'm like, that's way worse. And this but the, is history. The interesting, the the, fu- the funny part that I wanted to bring up about Vincent Gallo though is that movie is obviously it's controversial, or whatever, but that's how I found the Extra Mile subreddit. But anyways, um, if you go on his website to this day, I found this in high school actually. Um, his web or maybe not high school I was like in my 20s or something yeah. his website has a merchandise section and you go to the merchandise and you can pay for a night with him and it's weird it's the way it's written is all Let's weird do it it's like it's like five hundred five hundred thousand dollars or something and he's like he's like no dudes like it's only he said only naturally born females or it's it's so wild like Jesus he, he writes this whole thing and he's like talked about he's like I advise you to watch the brown bunny first to make sure you can take all of me like it's so weird like the dude is crazy he's out of his brain but he, uh, and it's this whole big like big, big long thing and then he says two lesbian chicks can have it too but it's you know a million or something and it's like you just get a whole night with me to do whatever you want and it's I found it when I was in my like early 20s we found this uh uh, it was me and adam actually were looking and we found it and we were just laughing like this guy can't be serious like it's hilarious and then what kind of uh, humor is it is like gallows humor but it's not it's not humor at all he's 100 percent serious but i went and found it recently um like probably like six months ago or something. I just wanted to see if it was still on there yeah. because it popped up on on Reddit and people were talking about. It. Have you ever been to his website? So like, I wonder if that's still there. Because yeah. Nowadays that'd be you know it's weird. And I went to his website. It's still there under the merchandise. You can still pay. And this dude's like probably sixty now. You know, yeah. fifty. But it's so w- wild to me that he's just How like. How much is it? Five hundred k. Do we have to go to him? Yeah. What do you mean? You have to pay for travel. No, you pay for travel. <laughs> you pay for his travel to come to you. Oh, okay. You have to pay for him uh, room and board. You have it's to pay not even part of the 500K. To, yeah, it's not part of the 500 It's just, it's so wild to me. I wonder if anybody ever actually did Yeah, that. I probably would have chose the submarine too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's half price. You the funniest die. thing is he's he's actually, he's in a, a a music video for Glassjaw, one of my favorite bands. And so it's, it's that's what's so weird. They probably paid the five. He was like in the in the video. Well, he gets to do whatever he wants. And that, that I think that's actually how I found him originally. He was the actor in this video, and like he, yeah. But it's uh, very weird. It's such a weird thing, and I'm like, what, what? You're a director, and you do this shit? Like that's like sounds predatory as fuck. All right, he, well, we was, we, we yeah. definitely hit our two hundred or two Sorry, hour mark. No, we're good. It's, it's a crazy. I definitely I don't want to keep anybody too much longer because we're already story. at like five p.m. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for checking out the Cooking Press podcast. Uh, check out uh, Dwarf from a Midget's new uh, newest uh, music video, Dedicini Alfredo, and you know get fec- keep keep updated on uh, everything that's going on. Dedicini's with, uh, coming to streaming soon. Yeah, that's coming out, and then also awesome. you're, you're going to have uh, uh, everything that's going on with. Uh, uh, Harvest Fest. So keep yes. keep updated on that. There's a new album, everything, and then of course uh, let's go ahead and go to the Sean is going to be at Helium. Yeah, going to be at India's Funniest this year. Um, like I said, July 18th, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Come out support me there, or Greentown 175 Year Celebration, or Harvest Fest. So and if much. you want to know any days for this, my social media guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sean D is funny. Uh, Courtney, you got anything going on? No. Nope. <laughs> She's talking Harvest Fest. Gonna... Yeah, you'll be doing stuff. She'll yeah. be doing, she's going to be doing a lot in Harvest Fest. Don't let her. Don't let her. Are you going to MC again? 
No, I no, think, really I, I think we got somebody else with me, but we are hoping that maybe at some point she does mm. WAP. We've been waiting. I've been for this so, I told you I was going to come over and do it. I know. Let's do it. I'm re- I'm re- I'm ready. I've let's been ready it. to do we it. We can't let's do it right it. now. No, we can't. Obviously, can't do it right now. But anyway, this has been the Kokomo <laughs> Press Podcast. I'm Jordan Granger, Courtney Richardson, Sean D, I'm Maddie Kroll. We're out. Thank you guys. Woo woo. Love Bye. you. Thank you for watching this episode of the Kokomo Press Podcast. We really appreciate you. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can check us out on the Kokomo Press at Facebook, at YouTube, at Instagram, or you can follow us all on our individual accounts if you want on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. You can get our merch, or if you really, really, really want to help us out, it's only $5. You can actually subscribe to our Patreon. Check that out because we have a lot of content we want to give you guys, and We want to put more and more out, and, you know, it's starting to get expensive. So hit us up. Thank you for watching this episode of the Kokomo Press Podcast. Thank you so much. We love you. Two kisses.